Is it on, honey? Is it on, bitch? Is this? Ain't no more this morning. It's just me. So y'all stand the sound carrying on. Hold on. I'm going to spin this bitch around again. I'm Hold on, y'all. What in the Can y'all see me? Y'all can see and hear me over here, right? You know I run this bitch by two computers. Y'all can see and hear me over here. All right. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck going on with this stupid ass motherfucking bullshit over here. The computer, the bitch, the sound going in and out. Oh, I might need to turn the soundboard on, too. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. It's me fucking up. It ain't Mo this morning. But I, let me turn the soundboard on. Y'all, I don't... Listen, I went to bed with a star in my eye, bitch. We gonna start this bitch over. You know we get old, bitch. Ain't no... Y'all hoes ain't got nowhere to go. Hold on. I'm gonna turn to Come up here, Chi-Chi. Look at the peoples while I turn... Look, hold... My dress so short, my ass hanging out. Chi-Chi, fix me one of them things. I want you to fix you one of the bitches, too. What? One of the motherfuckers, one of the, 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 this is why the mic kept going out. Yeah. Oh my God, look at going. You want yeah. me? It was me fucking up, y'all. Huh. It was me. Fucking it was up. me, y'all. Hey, y'all, we back. This, y'all hear us? It was me, daughters. Daughters, it was me. If y'all hear us, if y'all hear us, put the ear emoji so we know y'all hear us. Daughters. Daughters, it was me. Girl, bitch ain't had any soundboard on. It was me, daughters. Girl, run that shit back. I'm sorry, daughters. It was me. Oh, bitch, you don't like Ant Man muffins. Ain't no meat on the Ant Man muffins. Girl, who gives a fuck about any <laughs> meat on the damn Ant Man muffins? Hold we go. Hold on. Daughters, it was me. I'm sorry, y'all. I can take accountability for my own shit, bitch. It was me. It wasn't nobody. It was me, y'all. You ready to run it back? Bitch, we gonna run it back. It was me fucking up this morning. It was me. You ready? It was me, daughters. It was me. I made mistakes, too. You're human. I am human. It was me.
Mm-hmm. Y'all can hear me now, can't you? You got can't, your billy club. You got your billy club to this motherfucker now. You can hear a bitch now, Katie. It was me, where There we go. We in this motherfucker now. Shit, god damn it. It's what we y'all hear me now. Okay. Can you hear a bitch right now? I was like, why the motherfucking microphone keep acting like it don't want to stay on on the bitch? It was never on. Though. I said, like, bitch, what's going on? The girl, the soundboy over there, off like a motherfucker. God damn it. Hold on, y'all. Bitch, I need to get y'all more on the starter. Here it go. <laughs> yeah. There we go. We don't have no interruption this morning. What's up, everybody? Hold on. Let me put the link in there where y'all can get the motherfucker out. Oh, Chichi, that was so good. Mm-hmm. Chichi, you ain't like that. Fine. So you don't go up for English muffins like I do. No. Mm-hmm. You all know this is my news reporter wig, girl. <laughs> Hold on, girl. Y'all, bitch, we running late this morning. Bitch, I had overslept. Chichi was down there making me all evil cup of uh, English tea. Child, y'all know the beaters be getting on me, honey. I be oversleeping. You know the beaters get on me. The who? The beaters. The beaters. I ain't got it yet. I ain't got a touch of it. I should be sitting out there eating out. Chichi, put me a little bit more of this stuff on there. I was gonna eat it. You gonna eat it? Yeah. We can split it. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, wait a minute. Y'all got me fucking up this morning. Hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to get the damn thing in here, girl. Mm-mm. Let me see. Apple Music. Let me see. 
I hope th this for y'all that got the Apple phones and things. The Apple music. Uh, what, what the somebody just wrote there and say, who, who seen it? Who? What y'all mean, who saying that? Uh-uh. But what y'all mean, who saying that? Hold she on. Was a, she was a YouTuber. Her name was Fallon something. Hey, Fallon. You got to know that's the T.S. Espanilla. It's the bitch with the big black finger, bitch. It's me. It's me, girl. Girl, where the hell is the damn Apple on the phone, girl? There's so many applications on this bitch. Did you wear the You said, this you number know, vision getting bad. What you looking for? Apple Music? This is why you got it. This is why. You know what, ladies? I'm really understanding why. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is why y'all got to keep cheering. I, I understand why y'all be having a whole heap of cheering. <laughs> I, I get it now why y'all have a whole heap of cheering. Because... I was sitting up here trying to find this shit in my phone for the longest. And even though I'm, even though, uh, oh, yes, ma'am. Even though I am 43 years old, I don't look like I'm 43, y'all. I don't look like I'm 43. Mm -mm. I don't look none of that. I do look like somebody's on. And God damn it, the, I, the older I get, I try to keep young cherry around because I move slow. I'm still trying to find my name in the goddamn. Somebody posted already in there for you. They did. They did. Bay D uh, posted in the already. Thank you, Bay D, because it took me a long time to find my own goddamn song. There it is. Hold on. I got the link, too. Copy. My God today. My God, y'all don't be understanding what be going on in this world. Mamas is getting... I, I, listen. I did, <laughs> Listen. So y'all older ladies, I get it. I get it, y'all older ladies. I get it that y'all keeps the cheering. You know, y'all keep y'all a set of chair around y'all because, you know, hold on. Man, this shit crazy. All right. So I want to talk to y'all about something this morning. Y'all already know we over here on the quarantine for the coronavirus. Shit is getting real. Shit is getting real. Shit is getting real. Coronavirus. Shit is getting real. Coronavirus. Shit is already real. And y'all already know the toilet tissue is toilet tissue. Oh, thank you, Chi Chi. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. This is why you get the big bucks. <laughs> <laughs> This is why you get the big box. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm. So y'all know toilet tissue. Wait a minute. Who say Atlanta is in a 14-day lockdown? Bring the wind that happened. Oh! No! 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 So when they say it is, Mm -mm. Good morning. What y'all say? Tisha is gone, bread gone, baby wife's gone, noodles gone, water is like five to six damn dollars. No, Listen, no, 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 no. I got a trick for y'all. Hold on. Chichi, go get me that box that's upstairs that I had ordered at that box. Oh. You know where it say go get that box. I'm going to tell y'all what y'all need to get. Chichi about to run up there and get that box. I ordered something that I want to share with y'all this morning so that y'all people's out here that's got, you know, it's on the sick and shut in list. Hold on, pretty boy Cha Cha. What you say? Donald Trump. Which hold on. Donald Trump is making everybody going back and forth by next weekend. How do you feel about that? About bringing everybody back to work, which is Papa Jones is going around the world. Uh well, who going back to work? Papa pretty boy. You say you say they the people, mama. Hold on, y'all know I'm down here in the basement, child. This how this how you keep a job. You get you start you a job from home in your motherfucking basement, and you ain't got shit to work. Mama, Miss Mary, I can hear you. Miss Mary, I can hear you on the phone. Yeah, I can hear you on the phone. I can hear your whole conversation. 
I hear you talking, but are you doing all that talking? You ain't winning there scrubbing me no eggs yet. <laughs> I said, please make me some eggs and bacon this morning, mama. You think you sit for to sit up here in the quarantine? They gonna cook me nothing to eat. I hope they can't hear. I thought she was talking to me. <laughs> I hear her. I thought she was talking to me. I said, what? She gonna sit up and think she finna sit up here all day and they gonna cook me that knee. All right, come on up here, Chi Chi. I don't want no wine early this morning. Shit, I'm already crying. That's why I couldn't get up last night. I couldn't get up from last night. The goddamn shit is going crazy. Okay, y'all. So y'all out of toilet pick, the little out of toilet tissue. Paper napkins and all this stuff. So I guess y'all watch the show. Thank you for the nine ninety nine, babe. So y'all all already watched the show, and when y'all watch the show, y'all saw me say y'all take a uh, uh, y'all get the uh, 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 the paper napkins from Bounty, Brawny, a Bounty, or whatever the fuck them paper napkins and shit come from, and you cut the bitch down the middle. I guess y'all heard me when I said what I said. And by y'all hearing me, not all the motherfucking paper towels out there. I think y'all heard me when I say, get you some get you some baby wipes, some diapers and diapers, baby wipes out your ass. And all the baby wipes, not the baby wipes done hauled ass. All right, hold on, y'all. Here we go. Here we go. So I want to show y'all, as soon as Chi Chi get up here, I want to show y'all something I had bought. The, 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 and y'all may y'all may go ahead on and get y'all some of this and fuck the thing up, but I already got me two of these motherfuckers. So you got two? I already got me two of these motherfuckers. So I went on Amazon because all the toilet tissue gone. Okay. All the toilet tissue gone off Amazon. So I went on motherfucking Amazon and I pulled out. Oh, wait a minute. I move. And I pulled out <laughs> one of these goddamn bullshits from the Amazon right here. Hold on, y'all. Watch me, watch me close. Ladies, some of y'all already got this in the house. But see, my house ain't coming quick with that. So what I did was. I got me a motherfucking Oasis bidet. I got a bidet. You add this to the toilet stool. <laughs> you put this to the motherfucking toilet stool and put the jet screens on it so it can wash out the insides and cracks of your ass right here. It's a little piece that you add on to the toilet stool where you may have to, don't need no motherfucking toilet tissue. I paid $36 for this bitch. I'm having her installed today. I paid $36 for it. And thirty-six dollars for the one upstairs. It's a bidet. You turn the motherfucking thing on. Some of them you got the hot and the cold ones. I got the regular one because if you shit, it don't matter the water, hot or cold. Just rinse your ass out. Ain't no motherfucking toilet tissue. So <laughs> you go out there, you go on Amazon, and you get you one of these things and add it to your toilet stool. You get what I'm saying? You add it to your motherfucking toilet stool, and when you add it to your toilet stool. You hook the shit up, and the little spray thing right there will go will come down like some some uh 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 uh, uh, uh some in the extraterrestrial shit and wash the ends crowd the crack say yeah it's out. It's an easy put together kit, it's a two-piece kit, and you go ahead and so if you're all out of toilet paper, y'all better hurry up and get the damn Amazon. They're $36, okay. And you get you one of these, put put attachment to your toilet seat. What you say they sold out already? Oh my god, hold on. Wait a minute. This is like listen, hold on, y'all. You say they all they sold out? Oh my god. Already, my god today. Well, I'm telling you, you get you one of them. Wash your ass out. Wash your ass good. Let the thing wrench out your ass real good. What you say? Yeah, extraterrestrial, Victor, Victoria, Victoria, extraterrestrial. It's like some extraterrestrial shit. You wash your ass up. Now, listen, y'all know I ain't got no coochie. And I, don't, I don't motherfucking know too much about things to deal with coochies. I don't know nothing about it. <laughs> so I, I just, you know, I just look like I got a coochie. I look like somebody's aunt. Miss Mary, <laughs> you ain't started scrapping no eggs yet. <laughs> I hear your whole conversation, <laughs> and you ain't scrubbing no egg yet. I done already ate the damn uh, 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 English muffin. So the bread already died. I just need the eggs and bacon. 
Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I did. I don't want to eat no spaghetti for breakfast. I got breakfast meats in there for breakfast. <laughs> now y'all see how you see how your great aunt Miss Mary carries on, huh? <laughs> your who? Great aunt. <laughs> I'm y'all aunt. You you see how your great aunt be over there having to starve me? He's starving me. You know. Yeah. Wait, but hold on. Somebody say it's a lot to come along with a coochie. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. There's a lot of coochie wipes left about. Oh, she diaries. Where you get the coochie wipes from hell? I may have to get me some of it, but no, with the bidet, I'm all right. Chichi, you gonna use? Well, listen, I gotta get you one for your room. Let me see if any of them left on Amazon. Hold on. But they told you they were so that good. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see if any of them motherfuckers left on Amazon. They said Home Depot has some. Uh, Home Depot has Yeah, but see, Home Depot's on just five and six hundred dollars. Oh. I'm telling you, Home Depot's on is five or six hundred dollars. You don't get the one from Home Depot. You go on the Amazon and you get the one for thirty six dollars. It's an attachment. It's an attachment that you put onto your toilet seat. It's attachment. So let me put. Let me click on buy again. Oh, girl, you brought a pet? No, that's Miss Mary. Oh, I told you I ain't got no cooch. I don't do nothing about it. <laughs> I, I mean, I look like I have one. Oh my God! Thank you, Antoinette Carter. Ah, Antoinette, thank you, baby. Listen, Antoinette, you just sent me a love offering. That's going to, oh, I thank you, Antoinette, because I ain't got no more. There ain't no toilet tissue in here. So I'm going to look for another bidet. Hold on, let me put bidet in here. B I D E T, bidet. Is that French? Is bidet French? Bidet. You say, uh, Angelique, you say, put Angelique's thing up there. You say, I should go for the heated one. No. Um, mm mm. I don't know about that, girl. I, I'm a little funny when hot, when hot stuff be in my ass. Now I, I'm I'm oh my god, they gone. Dear God in heaven, they gone, murder, murder. They gone. Let me click on Amazon Prime. <laughs> um, well, listen, they got the um, they they got the no leak metal bidet T adapter with shut off valve. They got that at sixteen dollars. <laughs> it's cheaper than the seat. You could just attach it to the side. And you could take the, the, the water hole and squirt all in your ass like that to watch your ass out like that with this thing right here. Hold on, let me put it big up here. You know, we ain't got no more this morning. Move the comment. You put, moving. <laughs> you put it's this little piece right here, and it's like a, a, a water hose. And you know, but see, I'm kind of worried, but I don't be wanting that warm stuff in my booty. Oh my God! They got a bow bidet ultimate three hundred and sixty nine dollars. I father, I buy it. I got the. I must have got the last one, Chi Chi. God, it had to be. Damn, I can't even order me now another one. Well, y'all listen. Well, y'all get on top of it. Y'all get on top of it. Hold on. You said that cold Angela would say that cold water is a shop. All right. So y'all already know how we get ready to do. What we need to do. This. And who we finna do? It says, how does this software randomly pick up comments? Um, no, baby, D, we looking at it. We, we, the, the comments moving so quick. Famous Chucky TV, where you at? You say or 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 T has one too. Which who is or who is or T? Who is that? Put the link down there. Y'all put the link down there so I can put the stuff up on the screen. Auntie and these comments. My mama down here too. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, JD Alexander, Wani Alexander. Thank you, baby. Oh, thank you. Oh, one. Oh, why you listen? Why you said you keep sending me nine dollars and ninety nine cents? I'm gonna be like Boosie. Child, you see, y'all been looking at Boosie. Girl, come on, let's, let's get into this. Let's talk about Boosie this morning, girl. We ain't got another picture, but we're gonna talk about this on the show, girl. Did you see Boosie? I've been up there having girls have a whole sex party on oh, wait, this on Amazon. Hey, cousin, it's my cousin, Warry. Yes. Hey, Warry, baby, what's up? So, Boosie been having a whole party down there. Okay, applying, listen, okay. So, Boosie done been having a whole little sex, not a little sex party, but a little party. And he is really over there carrying on and stuff like that because he's heated because Instagram got on his DMs and told him to get somewhere and sat down. Oh, Instagram told him that. Bitch, Instagram got on him. Instagram got on in his DM yeah, sit the fuck and down. told him, so your role, shouting. 
calm down. <laughs> Instagram told his motherfucking ass to calm down because he had a hope the, the girls up there busting it down. But do you see in the video where them hoes was eating coochie on there? Wait a minute, he did that on Instagram. Bitch, them hoes busting it open, bitch, fish all in a <laughs> but they was <laughs> for, for a stack. And he told the girls he was gonna give the girls a stack. And she ate the girl coochie right on Instagram live on his live. My God, the day. What's y'all? What's going on with Boosie? I think he's fighting a crisis. What kind of crisis Boosie got? I think. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do Boosie like that. Don't do big <laughs> Boosie or little Boosie like that. Why he got? What kind I of crisis? going through a crisis like an identity crisis. Child, listen, that prison to do it to you. When you be in jail and you watch so many men fuck each other in the ass, you get traumatized. <laughs> That's why I get tired. Listen, I be on. I, listen, I don't been on on Twitter watching so many men fuck each other's ass. I've been traumatized too. I have an identity crisis. I don't know whether I want the wig on or the wig off. Just put it to the side. Yeah, <laughs> I've been seeing the men on the damn Instagram on the damn uh 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 uh, uh Twitter because they took away what's the shit we used to wear. They took Tumblr away, but they left Twitter, and they've been only fanning like a motherfucker down there. So maybe Boosie said uh, maybe Boosie was in prison mm -hmm. and he had got tired of seeing all the men's and things and he wanted to make sure that he tell the world, even though I saw men's. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. These people were well, the comments going crazy. When I open up the loud, I know y'all finna lose y'all mind. Listen, he saw the men's tearing each other up because I remember he had told that story. And when we do the show Monday. Y'all remember this now. Bookmark this. Because when we do the show Monday, I'm going to have all this shit lined up. And Mo going to be running the bitch over there. And we going to have it right because this is a new program we use. A who? New program. <laughs> a what? A new program. <laughs> this is a new program that we use. Ow! And we don't really know how this shit go. That's why I be having James Caldwell over here helping me out. Because I don't really know how this motherfucking shit go. I'm used to Wirecast. I don't know how this shit right here go. This shit cheaper than Wildcats. They said Boosie do anything for clown. Yeah, Boosie do do anything, but damn. You feel me? My thing is this, right? He was traumatized. This my listen, I'm being I'm being politically correct. Cause y'all know I don't like that shit that Boosie be doing and saying. But I'm telling you, he was traumatized because I remember him coming out of prison and he had a story where he said he saw the man grab his grab, had hold his ankles. No, you know you cannot do this in this dress. I can't. No. Hold on. He said the man had his ankles down like this, his ankles. And when he had the bottom of his ankles, he saw the man slam his ass down on another man's dick and ride it. And he said he was riding like a woman. Now, before I gave my commentary <laughs> on when Boosie first talked about that, I fell out screaming because I could only imagine what that can do. <laughs> what can it do? To a scrape man. Oh, man. Scrape. That's curious. Definitely curious. I, 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 I can only imagine what the kind of what that do to a scrape man who's slightly curious anyway. Mm -hmm. To see how the motherfucking man, man squat down. Squatted and slammed his ass down on the dick. On the dick. And he said he did it like he wrote it. And he wrote it like a woman. See, he that's it. He had got caught up in the trend. His the, mind, yeah. he, he was he was so used to seeing the people out there in the script club riding the riding the other men and things. Yeah. Yeah. And he and, and I could only imagine when Booster was watching it that the men was making sounds. What do you think they were saying? Uh, 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 oh yeah, bro. Oh yeah, bro. Oh, uh, bro. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Fuck me, bro. Ooh. Fuck me, bro. Sus. Sus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really think that drove Boosie crazy. I think it it brought it, 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 it drove the motherfucker insane. I'm telling you, this shit, because he ain't been right ever since he came out of prison and told that story. He said he hit the man, had his hands round the bottom of his ankles. So did he. Murder, no. Put the scrap around your The ankle. man had his hands around the bottom of his ankles. And, and we, yeah, like that. And this. And wow. <laughs> 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 
Oh my god. Let me tell y'all something. So I think ever since then, I really believe I really believe that drove Boosie crazy because Boosie been talking about gay shit ever since. He talked about the gay shit with the chair on the computer on the on the in the cartoon. He talked about Zaya, uh 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 the Dwayne Wade, Dwayne Wade baby. He talked about he been carrying on. He done lost his mind. He done went crazy. Ever since he seen, I think that was a, one of the most traumatic things because that was the first story that he told when he got home from jail. And I sat there and I watched the shit in depth. I watched it. I said, listen. I said, Lord, this done fuck this man mind up. <laughs> because he was sitting there telling, you know he got that. Hey, man. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't high enough. Mm. Hey, man. Dead. Man. Yes. Man, the nigga grabbed the other nigga ankles. He grabbed his ankles and he went down on the nigga. So he did it. And he went to rock. Hey, man. <laughs> man. But now in his interview, the other night, when I watched the interview, when he was talking about it, he said he don't have a problem with the games. He just wished that. Some shit he said, but what anyway. do you, what, you do got a problem with the damn gays, right? Because that shit traumatized. I, I, I would be more open if he say open to understand what the fuck Boosie be talking about when he be talking. If he just open up his throat and say, "Listen," I would be okay if he just say, "You know what?" When they when them two when them two men was in jail over there fucking, he was writing. I scrolled off. I would be re- real recognized. I would be real if you just say that. And I don't know if oh, I'm gay wait, or you say, Oh, <laughs> oh, Chichi, you fought a little deeper. Miss <laughs> Mary, you just can't get no one set out, can <laughs> Miss Mary, you just can't get nowhere and sat down at all. But I just feel like he probably, you know, he probably does when the man was squatting and riding, when he grabbed his ankles and he was about to. That he was, cause see, this is my thing. When all this was going down, where was he at during the situation? Tony Carter. Well, good morning, Tony Carter. You called me this morning. I was running late, bitch. I was asleep. Where you at, Tony Carter? Hold on. He said he wouldn't have went in had he known what. What had he known what the can outside the shower meant? I'm going to give y'all a chance to get on here. We're going to talk about this. This morning, our discussion is about Boosie this morning. We ain't really talking about a whole heap because I ain't going to keep y'all longer than an hour this morning because I got shit to do today. But we're going to talk a little bit about Boosie. Oh, and we got something else. I think Larry Reed had hit me up yesterday. Let me send this to Larry Reed while I can get Larry Reed ready. I shouldn't even be fucking with Larry Reed because you know Larry Reed old cross action, huh, to be, to be uh, 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 over there fucking... Uh, trying to lay me out and shit like that in the situation, but it's all right. I'm gonna forgive him, bitch. I'm a Libra. All you got to do is tell me you're sorry. We all right. Now, I'm gonna send that to Larry Reed so he can bring his ass on in here because he got some stuff he was telling me about the church peoples and the um, and because he told me about Pastor Khan. He sent me uh, pastors respond to governor's assembly restrictions. So I'm sending this to him and telling him, come on in when you're ready. Cause we need to talk about that, but I just got the but the first thing I had saw this morning was Boosie, and I just was like, "Well, damn!" So what had happened was when the men had grabbed around, had put the scrap around their ankle, mm-hmm. and they was over there jumping on the dick like a jackrabbit, like a jackrabbit. I think that he was in the. You cut. think he was in the corner? He was in the cut, so they couldn't see him. Bitch, getting his. Little- and he was. Yes. What's some things y'all had when y'all be in jail, Chichi? Because I ain't been to jail long as you okay. have. Uh, uh, a toddy. What is it called? Um. What, damn. What y'all prison trade down there? A the fifi. Co- a fifi. <laughs> he had him a fifi. What y'all prison trade had? Y'all had a fifi. That's nothing but a two gloves turned inside out with a look like in a little can of cup thing. You put a little lube in there and something that you could jack off with. You had a Fifi when you was in jail, Chi Chi? My God. I didn't have a Fifi. I was well taken care of when I was in jail. 
So you ain't really need no feet feet. Mm-hmm. You had thoughts in there. Baby, I had thoughts, men, they was taking care of me, so I was great. So you felt like a real jail woman? Yes. Every time I go to jail, I always find somebody that's like, damn, sorry, what's up? <laughs> and listen, y'all hear what Chi-Chi say here. Every time he went to jail, he found somebody in that... <laughs> It's just, it's, I found somebody that's to accept the whole realness, you know. So to me, my own personal thing, I think that um, that's what happened. Like he seen them doing their thing, he scrolled off to it. Now in his mind, he thinking, "Damn, shouty." Well, you know, he ain't. Hold you know, on, he ain't from Johnny Atlanta. Jones. Johnny Jones, you down here? You don't wrote a fifi. Can you get? Can you? Can you tell us how do you write in the comments? How do you make make a fifi? Chi Chi talked about how he. He know what how have you ever made you a fifi? Easy, a fifi is easy. A, a fifi easy. A glove. Wait a minute, listen. Johnny say he had it. Johnny, how many times you not been to jail? Girl? Johnny say Johnny say he get the piece of trade too. Oh. My God, today. No long. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Chi Chi. <laughs> Mona say that better be great juice. Yes, yeah, you know Jesus turned water into wine, honey. Yeah. Oh my god, so I really think that's what it was. Uh, so that's what you think wrong with Boosie. So, all right, so here's my thing Boosie had a lot of stuff to say about the games and stuff. Oh, hold on, L- Laura Alexander say he watched the entire ordeal, he gave too much details. Boosie is a fraud, he was into that shit or got into that shit. Catch that one, period. Mm. That's what I said. Because listen to me. I'm just being real sticking for my own jail, my own jail experiences. Thank you, Chrissy. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Somebody putting a definition. <laughs> Come on, bitch. Come on. Thank you, Clifton. <laughs> I told you. Can you read it? <laughs> read it out loud. <laughs> Woo! Read it, bro. Go okay. on, read it. I'm gonna read it out loud. Y'all asked me to read it out loud. I'm gonna read the motherfucker out loud. Hell, hold on. Uh, let me read the bitch out loud. Fifi, towel folded twice with the open end of a rubber glove mm-hmm. sticking out. Mm-hmm. After being rolled, the end of the glove is then stretched over the top. Mm-hmm. Then it is finished by pulling a sock. Over the opposing ear to hold the glove in place mm-hmm. can then be ran under warm water or placed in between a mattress to create a real life effect. Thank you, thank you, Clifton. Thank you, Clifton Power Junior. Now listen, you got old Baptist name, Clifton Power Junior. That's old Baptist <laughs> name. I'm telling you, that's a Baptist name. Oh, dear God, world star hip hop God, how you make the. the, the Thank you, DeAndre. Dear God in heaven. Y'all, dear God, how many of y'all done went to jail? Y'all know about these damn Fifi. But see, that's in jail. And see, in prison, they got the other, they got girls like, you know, some girls like you, maybe, and some girls like me. So this is just only in jail. Everybody get y'all, y'all gagging down here. Mm -mm. I already said that. Yeah, it's people in the the people in the comment is gagging, honey. Mm -hmm. They are gagging. Hold on. Boosie is mad because he liked what he saw. Right, Tiffany. Right. What's up, Anthony Ash Johnson? Hey, babe. Hey, baby. What's up? All right. Well, I don't see Larry on here, so I'm gonna have to open up the line. We're gonna talk about this stuff. Larry probably Larry told me he was gonna come on here, but he got he he came on. So we we'll, he might be asleep. He told me he was getting up and wash his ass, but he he ain't got up yet, you know. Hold on. You say you thought, I, yeah, I thought, I actually thought he was married. So what? But I guess he been a real, a, re, a what? Let's do it, Chi Chi. A real nigga. And, and, cause see, real niggas like to see pussy all day, pussy in the morning, pussy at night, pussy on the breakfast, dick at night. Pussy, <laughs> pussy, 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 pussy. pussy. Pussy, pussy, pussy. All right, I get it. So if you see a lot of pussy, eat a lot of pussy, fuck a lot of pussy, that means that you ain't homosexual. But if you see two men <laughs> in jail and one is grabbing their ankles and he slammed down. Yes. And he started bouncing. And it traumatizes you. In it traumatizes you because you was over there, meet hard, and you wonder why, damn, why my dick hard like that? 
Yes. That's why you is traumatized. <laughs> because the very because listen, I, I'm gonna tell y'all a secret about me, dog, and y'all already know. Now, so when I say this, please don't judge me and don't make me don't say I always talk about my private area because I don't. I'm just open. I think that I'm um I think that I'm open, and by me being open, I think that the fact that I'm open, that what people tend to do mm -hmm. is that they forget that I live my life publicly, and the public stuff that I say, you know, I ju I'm just open. All right, so with me saying that, here we go. So I had watched this video, this video, and I saw this man eating this woman's coochie. I mean, he was... I mean, taking breaths like he was swimming in the... In the, in the he, he was swimming in her... He, <laughs> That's how he was... Murder, he was tearing it up. And the whole time I was sitting there I, I had got right in the panties. So it was a little, it was a little stiff in your panties. I had got right in the <laughs> panties. <laughs> and okay, so okay, okay. So when you got right in the panties, was it because he was slurping and garping, or oh, was no. he cute? He was handsome, and he oh. was so he was real handsome. He was a man, and he was a. I think it was all his masculinity, and he was sucking the juice out of fish. Yes. I think it was all his masculinity down there eating, and then he was taking breaths in between. And then going back in. For the I was like, "Listen, I don't know how you sucking her, but can you suck me? How you sucking her? How you sucking her?" <laughs> now I done watched the, you know, one of those things, and Trey was down there, you know, eloping fish, and I had Trey was eating. Up. He was eating up, and I had. I was like, "Oh, you was right too. <laughs> you had got right in your face." <laughs> So did that make me scrape? Because I got hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, for me. So did that make me scrape though? Because I had got right. I was. I had got to listen. Y'all know my mind already be twisted up in the game. So. What was it, y'all? Can, can somebody help? Maybe that's what happened to Boosie. Maybe that's what happened to Boosie. What happened? Murder. That man was eating that lady up so good. He was eating her. Like, see, that's what I'm telling you. He was eating her up. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on, y'all. We're going to come back to that story. So listen. We're going to come back to this story. So we got a little hot tea getting ready to pot here. And we're going to add Larry Reed to the situation. Y'all say good morning to Larry Reed. Good morning, Larry Reed. Good morning, T.S. Madison. Now, Larry Reed, you know I shouldn't even be fucking with you. Because you, you, like, you like to go and consort with the enemy and tell motherfucking a fictitious story. But I forgave you. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I did not know you guys were beefing like that. Remember you know, about listen, you watch the internet like everybody watch the internet. <laughs> And you know when people be talking, be talking cash shit about me or whatever. But I I'm not know. That. Listen, I'm good. Hold on. I need y'all to know I'm blessed. <laughs> I'm blessed and highly favored. So none of that shit really, really fazed me because because my hard work ended up paying off in the end. By I, know shot right. of time. I know so, that's right. But you know, just so you know, like I told you on the phone, when I found mm -hmm. out, Conscious TV was the really the one that was the sounding boy because he called me and said reed do you know what's been happening so i didn't know what had been happening so i had to get back on my live and say look i didn't know i was calling in the midst of a war i would have been larry live and talking slick so now that i know you know i told listen, him listen you you join in on the situation but i'm a forgiving leader because you know what my bible to see you a pastor my Bible, my Bible says, "Forgive them that 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 work okay. against you, because you can be blessed." And, and, right? I've never been against you because it was all the workers against me. But at the end of the day, my Father, listen, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, all three of them <laughs> did bless me throughout this whole entire fiasco and situation. And I ain't got no beef with no. I ain't beefing with you. I ain't beefing with him. 
I ain't beefing with no, I ain't got no beef with anybody. Zero. Well, you know, man, a lot of times when you on top or when you're the one that's bigger and doing it better than everybody else, folk gonna always have something to say with the malicious intent. I get but it. Every, but everybody that says something don't necessarily mean that they on the side of the evil. Or evil well, listen, evil. it ain't like you diffuse anything. You had them people out there acting like I was cheap. And I listen, I, you know, I, you I, are cheap. I, I, I know, baby, I ain't cheap. I'm frugal. There's a big difference. <laughs> and then the, here, let me tell you the difference. And see, we can't. Let me go ahead and tell you what real quick in front of the people's while I got you on here before we even start on this. Okay. And you can't talk about, and I love you. I'm talking, I'm telling you with love. Uh -huh. You can't talk about my house smaller than you thought it was when your square footage is not equal to mine. Uh -huh. Well, you can <laughs> So let's talk about small when you walking a bit shit. Cause your square footage and my square footage is two different square footages. It may be small to the to the eye of a bitch with a house bigger than mine, but my house four five times the size where you stay. Message, <laughs> message, house. and that go for any motherfucking <laughs> house out there jumping on your side talking about oh it uh, her house ain't big as it. Bitch, my house bigger than yours, and no. bitch, I stay here with one person, <laughs> me myself and I. Chi Chi be in and out, and Miss Mary be in and out. So I got a enough room to give a bitch a mother for a homeless bitch but, a let, place to stay. Let me say this. My comments was me being Larry Reed live. You I get it. They ain't never been, it ain't never been no malice. That's the reason why when we first hooked up, yeah, it was the way that it was. It ain't never been like you know, that. And I ain't had no listen, and I ain't got no beef with you. I ain't got no beef with nobody. But listen, I'm glad I pulled you on here because I ain't never had. I wanted to publicly talk to you in yeah. front of the public yeah. so the public can know that I ain't beefing with nobody. Because at the end of the day, I'm blessed. Because let, 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 me, let me also say this about you. I said it behind your back. It was positive. So I'm gonna say it publicly. That was positive. And this is one of the things that me and Vincent recognized the moment that we met you that you were a person that did not mind sharing the love and also the benefit of whatever benefit can. I mean, cause we knew some things, we had to sign an NDA. We knew the big things that were coming up and you never heard us discuss any of that stuff or me discuss any of that stuff. And I'm just so glad to see whatever you have set out to do cause you wanted to do a show, you want to do a reality show. And I know that that's happening although I know you can't speak on it. Right, you know, I, but I, I, I can't speak on it, but hey, it is what it is. It, the public, they don't put it done being put out in the public. So yes, yeah. the the rumors are true. Yeah, yeah. And the rumors are true. Yeah. And, and whatever. And I worked hard and worked for, and I went and I, I locked in my situation with, with it. everybody that had anything to do with the situation was a part of it. it yeah. And this is what I come to find out why I'm not mad at nobody. And mm. I'm, I'm finna say the real shit, and we gonna move on from that shit because I don't want you to think I'm dwelling in that. Oh no, I, I, know, every, I, I know. Every person that was involved in that in the situation was a part of the setup for where life was gonna have to, was mm. gonna take me. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But so, you know what I thought about I thought about that day when we were sitting by the table, and you remember because I we said Madison, we're gonna we're gonna help you. We're not gonna walk out on you. Said all of this is on me. And all every drop of this is on me. Yeah. And I, and I said, well, I, I'm going to be here for a little while. I said, but Vincent can stay and, and he can help. Yeah, me. you did. I said, you we, did. I, said, we, I, said, we, I said, we got you. It's going to be good. You know, so I'm, it's exciting to me to see that that was exactly what you set out to do in 2018 when I yeah. came around. And it, it happened. In 2017, you know. Yeah, 17, yeah, 17. Stuff take time. You feel me? Like things yeah. take time. Hold on, hold on. Come up here, teacher. I got, I got our, our hold on, my dress. And I know you are a, a, a bisexual man, so I got to cover my thighs up. <laughs> Tell you in the public that everything that transpired in that whole situation, it was ordained by God. Yeah. So let me ask you this. So you okay, you said it was ordained by God. Do you feel as though that the separation that happened was 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 supposed to happen as well? Well, I tell you this in the space that I'm getting ready to occupy now, the, mm -hmm. the children wouldn't have been able to handle that because it's a lot of rules and regulations that you got to apply to. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And it's a lot of stuff 
that you know that being that if you a headstrong person and you don't want to take any rules from anybody, that the motherfucker was gonna tell you nah from the door. Yeah. And every time I sat down in a meeting, and hell, you you might be pr privy to this information. Mm -hmm. Every time I sat down in a meeting, the motherfuckers told me, "Thank God," because it yep. wasn't nothing we could do in that situation. Yeah, I heard about it. I heard about it. And and I, one of the things that I hate, I mean, you know, you told me not to get on live. A lot of people don't know this and not to drag and fuss with her when all that stuff happened. Mm -hmm. And that's really sort of where we um, I ain't never had no problem with you, but that's what we just the first disagreement that we had aside from trying to get you to spend a lot of money was when uh, um, uh, now listen. Now you know when you came in the door, I told you that I'm, I'm frugal. Now let's get let's be. Get I didn't know what that serious. Let's get I'm back like, on. I used to when I came to your house and, and I did that show with you. I told you then I was a frugal motherfucker, and I, I didn't know it was that bad. I I was like, mean, and listen, I got the money. You know yeah. that. Yeah. I, so I, that's, that's my hold on, but hold, no, on, hold, hold on, on, hold on. You know what? Let that's me say what this. That's what you didn't convey to your viewers. See, okay, well, let me say it. What let you should have conveyed to those viewers was <laughs> that the bitch frugal, but that bitch got the money. Well, hold on. I did say that, but I have to take that video down. But let me say it right now so everybody can hear that. And this is, I mean, I knew this because you shared personal stuff. I had to sign the NDA. Right. I seen with my own two eyes some things. Maddie is not struggling but she cheat i don't care what she said she cheat i'm frugal nigga. <laughs> that's a whole different thing frugal <laughs> i don't give a fuck how long my money is i ain't got it <laughs> <laughs> and that's what you were saying i said man it's only 35 dollars more i ain't got that I I ain't got it. <sighs> now i will say what I, I, I i'm gonna go ahead on and be real okay i will say that fucking with you and vincent Y'all made me learn some things of bitch, get the good shit right now so you ain't got to go back and go get because by the time you finish buying two or three pieces of something, yeah, yeah. you done already that's bought this. You should have only got the big thing first, you yeah, know. That's idea. And and I and one thing about it is I don't mind spending money in what I feel like is something big for me. Like if it's like advancing me, I don't feel like it. You get what I'm saying? You know? Yeah, I mean, but it's amazing how now you got, I'm pretty sure that when these people signed you, they watched everything that you did. You know, because I was, I was telling Maddie the whole time, I said, Maddie, you don't even need, this is the, when we met, I said, you don't need her. Yeah, but no here's the thing. Those people had this was the, those people was watching me way before I was already in bed wow. with those people way before then I was in bed wow. with them people way back in 20, 2000 and something like mm. I've been dealing with RuPaul, World of Wonder, all them people for years. Like when I was doing my wait a minutes and driving around in the car, like just because I don't be forward talking my business, you know, and, and that stuff manifests for me and that other stuff didn't. But the yeah. other things manifest wow. for me. So, you know, it was this, it was just God's plan. It's just, it is, it is what it is. You know, that's why I say that everything. When I sit, when I have a chance to sit back in, in my quiet space and in quarantine, I have an opportunity to sit back and be like, God, your hand was in it all the way. Well, through us and down, through heartache, yeah. through, 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 through public attacks. Cause I did feel the attack by the public. I did. Yeah attacked by the public and mm -hmm. I did feel that people that were around me you know that shouldn't have been you know talking about stuff because I'm very as, as public as I am you know I'm very private very very private but I but I always liked you man I mean from the get up I mean everybody was telling me I, I, I went through a whole lot of different ridicule all, because of the kind of show that I do and talking about some of the things that happen in the church but then having you on you were like one of the biggest personalities at the time that I had brought on especially that represent the LBGT community and they ridiculed me but I saw you one time fell in love with you and so when I brought you over everybody like, why you got her on I said this chick is hilarious yes and, and I'm gonna tell you this yeah you also educated me because I, I did not understand a whole lot of, and meeting you from where I come up and where I come up from someone like you is totally that's a word that you use you say you you are God, that's a word that you use. You used to say it all the time around the house. Um, but you basically were saying that you're an an anonymous. You're, you're something that is. Um, uh -huh. Yeah. And so meeting you totally changed my idea on several different things. And you educated my, my audience. You know, so I think you're great. 
I've always thought you were great. And I've never said you were cheap without saying how great that you are. I think you're absolutely great. But I you still think I'm cheap. All right, I'm going to let you slap that. Yeah. As long as you say she cheap, but she got it. She got it. She cheap, but she got it. She All got right. It. And there we go. Okay. Now, you right. taught me something last night about the governor. So you you got some tea that you want to add to the more. Now, first, before we get on that, what you think about Boosie? You think Boosie like one of y'all pastors over there at y'all church? <laughs> well, this is what I think Boosie is. Boosie is probably not at ease with who he is. And I think whenever you really at ease with whoever you are as it relates to sexuality, you don't care being called gay, straight. You don't care if somebody else is how they're having sex. That's their business. And you don't, you shouldn't have all those feelings about it. So the fact that he got all these feelings about somebody else's way that they having sex says to me that they something you ain't got worked out. That's how I feel about that. So how, you you feel, how, like you, how do you personally feel about two men having sex, Larry Reed? Message. <laughs> what's it? What's it say, Chi Chi? What it say? Message. How, how do you personally feel about two men having sex in prison, I grabbing each other's round the ankles, slamming pelvises down on top of the balls and the dick and stuff like that? How do you feel, Larry Reed? <laughs> Tell the dog. How do you feel? I don't, I don't have any you. feelings concerned. And this is what I say. If you, I know a lot of men, a whole lot of men. I mean, I used to pass in the hood in Fayetteville, North Carolina. And so there was army men and a whole lot of people that was on drugs. And this is what I learned at that time. That just because a dude, now this is what I think now, Maddie. Just because a dude get a nut at a specific time, a certain kind of way, that does not define his sexuality from A to Z. That's what I think. And so a guy in jail having sex or a guy in a certain situation having sex with somebody of the same sex, to me, does not necessarily say that he's gay, bi, or whatever. That's a man getting a nut at a specific time. That's what I think. Okay, so basically what you're saying in experience don't define a life. A life. You said, yeah, you can't because this, I'm going to tell you, there's one dude particularly that I know he, he get high to this day. He still get high. He married. He love women. He is the type of man that can sniff out community puss in any situation and get hold of it, get something, go back home to his wife. But at the same time, he has also told me stories where there's certain guys that he have had sex with, although it was a drug thing, although they were getting high, although uh, there was money exchange, but he did it and he was erected and had full blown sex, but he ain't into dudes. Now, I don't, under I don't understand that, but that's what he said. And I see him knock a whole lot of women down. So this is why I make that statement. I don't think you can. I, I think sexuality is just as unique as our fingerprint. That's what I think. Hold on. Well, let me ask somebody on who may think a little bit different. Okay. Hey, good morning, Milan. How you doing? What's up, Maddie? First of all, I want to tell you, I've been to your house, and your house is huge, goddammit. So Thank you. Larry, <laughs> Larry been to the motherfucker, too. He know I got a big house. And listen, <laughs> and when God bless me with this extra $10 he's been to bless me with, I'm going to uh -huh. get me one four times the size of this motherfucker. <laughs> oh, okay. I just, want to, I just want to put that out there. I've, I've been to the house. I got an upstairs, downstairs, basement. And, and a downstairs, studio, one a downstairs. Uh, and all type of a, a, a circle drive through. And all <laughs> the house is goddamn huge, so I don't know what. Hey, Chi Chi, fuck me, sis. I'm alive. So, Milan, so yeah. we were here talking. You seen the boosted tobacco, right? Yes. Um, so we were okay. thinking that Boosted up been traumatized because he had watched the men's having sex in that. Because we remember when he first came out, uh huh, and he and he he told that story about the man grabbing the other man. And he grabbed the man had him around the ankle and he would ride the man's dick. Right. But he was so in depth with the story that <laughs> the, Vlad, the Vlad TV was watching. The, I was watching the Vlad like, damn, he was really in the corner. <laughs> with, with, with the Fifi uh, going to town. You know, my thing is with Boosie, uh, Waka Flocka, T.I., I just don't understand why every time something that has to do with homosexuality or just anything, um, they always have a public statement that they need to make. Um, I know that Waka Flocka is married. I know that T.I. is married. Um, I just, uh, and I don't know if little Boosie is married or not, but I just don't understand why people are so, um, 
uh, mesmerized or so taken aback by homosexuality that has been around for the last millennia. So it's like, what is it that every time, like even with the Zaza thing with the Z uh, Dwayne Wade, Zay, yeah. why, why every time something comes out, you have to publicly make a statement. I think Waka Flock even made a statement about the um the switch uh switch of um yeah he did he said something about that. It's like every fucking thing is it doesn't doesn't need you to address it. So are you why are you so bothered? So I don't know what their sexuality is. I think Larry said something that I do actually agree with when he said that you know sexuality um is I don't think nobody I don't point. think if it's a zero. To a, a ten in your sexuality, I don't think anybody is just one completely one way. Because as you was looking at the man eating the girl vagina, and you said your your spirit rose in your panties, you know is. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think we all can. And my love, you and my love to be in a, to add insult to injury. You know me and you brothers and sisters. When you be around me, it be a sexual energy that go yeah. on in the room. Yeah. You know, I be ready. Die. You know you make me. You know, you make me feel a certain type of way. You're so fine so. and thick and chocolate, and all the ladies yeah. be up here. Listen, all my makeup artists and hairdressers that was here, they say, I want to lay down and let my love bust me down. And I say, Girl, <laughs> I'm going to lay right next to you, honey, and then oh, get up. Shit. And then going to say, Fuck me, see. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, it's the whole movement going on over here. But, so, yeah, so I agree. I, I mean, I think, I don't think anybody's one way. I think if you get somebody, a certain, certain person alone after a certain while, I think sexual arousement just happens. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know what their um, intrigueness is. I can't say anybody's gay or straight or whatever, but I do find it very interesting that they always have something to say. But so, see, that was that was my experience when I met Maddie because, see, I'm, in, in my mind, a transgender looked like a dude but trying to be a woman. So when Maddie came over to the house, and I saw her. I don't want me. I said she she feel like she a whole lady. Oh, and then we had to go. Then we had to go to her house. And so when we went to her house, we were around there for like two weeks, and we were going like every other day. And so the more that I hung around, man, and I think we may have discussed this. And I hung around. I said, "Man, are you like a, a real woman?" So yeah. that, it was a whole lesson for me. And listen, when we was out in the store, ain't nobody knew nothing was going on. Nope. Except the people that knew who T.S. Master was, and I had to stop and take pictures and stuff with them. Yeah. But yes, we was in the store and going all around. Me, I had listen. I'm a fat woman, and you know, fat women can pull bring in, any big girl out there. Uh, where are all my big girls at? Because they can attest to this. Chi Chi, raise your hand. <laughs> <laughs> all my big girls know that the milkshake brings the niggas to the yard. Don't you ever be fooling. This is why. And see, this is why I don't body shame. I, I, I don't buy the chain, folks. If you big and bad by the bitch, I'm don't you worry about it, bitch. I know somebody that like it. I'm telling you. Because, you know, and, and Milan, you fine and stuff like that. You know, you fine, thick, and you got somebody nice, in the you got nice nipples, and you got that nice dog skin booty, right. and you know, you got that muscular, <laughs> muscular arms and stuff like that. You know, we can't folks for shit. You know, we 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 can't by we can by sin and not by blood. <laughs> <laughs> so so listen, Larry came on here this morning because some pastor and he talked about Brian Carr. You know how I feel about Miss Carr. Yeah, that's really the way that we met. That's the way that we started talking on the internet years ago because when he said that down there at that club in Florida, I think it was, he said it was God's judgment on all of the homosexuals because of some day called Dec Decadence Day. And so he said that God sent the drunk, the possibly sent the gunman in there to kill the gays. Now, I don't know how you feel about that now, but that was really how he really got on the radar, and then you started talking about that, and Kim Burrell. Now, what he said, I told Kim Burrell up because <laughs> I felt some type of way by her motherfucking ass, and I still feel some type of way by her motherfucking ass because you can preach. Cause listen, I'm gonna tell you some real shit. My mama ain't all about the homosexuality stuff like that, but my mama says she ain't got nothing to do with what God, what, what God got to do with. You get what I'm saying? All she can say is what she reading the word and the word is what it is. And she said this has been the biggest experience for her is that her child is, is trans, T-R-A-N-C-E, trans. Trans, a Miss Maryism. <laughs> her child is trans and her child's friends are gay. 
Yeah. And Milan, by the way, Miss Mary said you a fine dog skin thing too. Miss Mary be talking about how fine you is too. I love Miss Mary. Goddamn. <laughs> and speaking of Miss Mary, me and Miss Mary is doing a key session later on on my YouTube uh, channel to talk about what you just said. Right. So yeah. wait a minute. Somebody say Brian Carn is a walking flamethrower. Hold on. What does that mean? <laughs> oh wait. Oh wait. <laughs> Brian Karn is a walking flamethrower. Charles E. Evans, tell me what does that mean? What is a walking flamethrower? His pussy hot? <laughs> <laughs> now, how I many scandals Brian Karn up been caught up in, Larry? Well, you know, it's been a whole lot of them. There's one that's still online where he had allegedly gave this girl trick trichonomics, some kind of infection where her puss was, was, was releasing pus. So it was a puss full of pus. And she had to go to the doctor and get them some pills or something shoved up in there in order for that to clear up. Then also there were some other stories concerning some children that was outside of wedlock. But allegedly he came forth, owned all of that and said, you know, I'm sorry. I was going through changes. Pray for me. And all of that was water up under the bridge until just days ago. When the governor began to give restrictions on the semblance and no more people coming together than 10 people, he took to the internet. Actually, what happened, he was in a revival in Albany, Georgia. And Albany uh -huh. was one of the first places where the Cora showed up. And so the second night of the revival, they came there and shut it down. So he took to the internet and he began to say, I don't care what nobody say. We don't, we don't get controlled by the government. We are a church. We are not citizens of this world, but of the kingdom. And what we're going to do, we're going to still have church. It don't matter what they say, we're still going to have church. And so they put him on the internet and everybody is dragging him, saying he's putting people's lives in danger. So I wanted to know what you thought about it. Well, listen, everybody life is, everybody got a decision. Just like I be over here arguing and fussing at Chi-Chi by staying his motherfucking ass in the house because we need to be quarantined. And I do feel like the more that we sit down and let these people go, let Trump do whatever he do for his election, it's all a part of the motherfucking election too. Okay. And I feel like if, if we let these people sit down and do what they're going to do, we can all get back to work because that's what we ultimately really want to do yeah. is get back to work. We want to get back to work. We want to we want to feed our children. We want to get regular toilet tissue. I need regular <laughs> toilet tissue. Well, I'm glad I'm glad the folks is at home because while the folks is at home, my 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 uh business, my adult toy line business has zoomed. Like I got like a ninety percent profit increase. So well, I'll Lord, say you, all at home and go well, Lord, can you put the link to your toy down here. Can you type the link in the chat? I don't put know, the link okay, to where no. your toy is, because we need to know where, the, where we can get your toy. Yeah, go right here and get the Milan Christopher toy right now. Is that was the? I was looking at Joanne the scammer video. Is yes, that that's the one? That's, that's the yours. One. Yeah, I, I don't need. But to what is the toy? What's the toy? I'm about to the link. The toy, to it's a Theodora. It's a Theodora oh, or a pocket, a pocket ass. I, I want the Theodora. Well, shit, send both of them to me. I'll do a try and talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how do I come back to the screen? <sighs> Where you at? You on the you try oh, yeah, I oh, I saw it came up right there. Oh, you need to put it in the in the in the chat. Somebody, somebody need to put it in the chat. I did. It's I just put it in there. www.fleshjack.com forward slash malign. That's what it's it flesh is. jack. Hold on, let me type it. Let me type it down there. It's www.fleshjack. Hold on, because I'm gonna click the link. www.fleshjack.com. F L E S H F L E S H J A C K dot com. Mm. And then forward slash Milan M I L A N. Oh, all right. I put it down there in the chat. So it's on, it's, listen, it's on both of my YouTubes, all my Twitters. And so when the people, if y'all out there, please flash the, it on, on Periscope. Here it go. Bam. Bam. Listen, that's, that's posted on all my shit, but it's, but, uh, uh, but it's on uh, Periscope right now www.fleshjack.com Milan, send me two of them. Send me the pocket pussy and the I'm going to send you a package. I'm going to send you the package thing, uh, Maddie. Okay, send me the package so I can suck it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see what it tastes like. <laughs> it tastes like chocolate, Milan. Yeah. yeah, it tastes like chocolate. So listen, the thing is, Maddie, this is what I want to I say this to you. Um, And I, I'm, I always tell you this. First of all, 
Um, and I don't know what Larry or anybody else has said in the past, and I'm, I'm glad you guys have worked past that, but you cannot be concerned with every, I mean, I can't even tell you how every other week or every other couple of months is somebody on the internet, some random bitch who I don't know, some random bitch pretending they know me, some random bitch making up a story. Just every couple of months is always something, but that's because us as gay, and it's always coming from a, another gay LGBT trans person that is, is of color. It's never, I, it's not never no white person, Chinese person. It's always our own because we have been taught as we grown up to be crabs in a barrel to our own. When we see somebody from our own or somebody like us or somebody who we who we relate to succeeding, our immediate response is to tear them down. So. And no matter what it is that you got going on, they go find something to try to read about. Sweetie. Hold on, Milan. Your phone. Your phone acting up. The coronavirus. She's getting real. <laughs> but yeah, I get what I get exactly what he was saying. Like I but see, I've never when I didn't realize that was going on on the internet concerning you till I Googled your name in the YouTube. And so I saw all these YouTube people that was using your name to build their platform. But see, I didn't I didn't know any of that was going on. But you yep. know what, Larry? Listen, don't nothing sell faster than a scandal, but yeah. a scandal. So, you know, and it's okay. Like I'm a, I, I'm not gonna say I'm okay with it, but it's a part of it. Like it's a part yeah, of the journey. Like mm -hmm. when you when this is what the I ain't had nothing to do with the, with, with with what with my assignment because this shit bigger than me. Yeah. I got so it. When, when everything manifests the way that it needs to manifest, mm -hmm. it this stuff is bigger than me. Like all the stuff that I went through is bigger than me because there's some young gay, some young trans, some young person out there that's gonna be really affected by my story from, from all the way from my past all the way up to now. It's gonna be some straight person that's gonna be out there like, I've had many obstacles in my life and many things, I've made many mistakes and all of this shit is in the public. So people will be able to reflect back over stuff like this and be like, well damn, you know, if it happens for her, it can happen for me. Mm -hmm. If it happens for you, Milan, it can happen for me. If it happens right. for anybody who has a, it, even you, Larry, if it happens for you, it can happen for me. So we have to start realizing that the shit that happened to, to people that are public, because I didn't yeah. ask to be public. I turned on my motherfucking cell. What, what, we, what we need to realize is that we need to stick together. These yeah. motherfuckers will go and, and cheer on a Beyonce, a Rihanna, a Nicki Minaj, a Cardi B, but when they have their own gay celebrities, the first thing they want to do is tear us the fuck down. Mm -hmm. It does not make any sense. We're already a minority within a minority. We only thing we can do is stick together and support each other. But we we don't do that. That's what they need. To, if you learn, if you learn, if they learn to love themselves, they will learn to love you. And the problem is a lot of us don't love ourselves. So we can't love somebody that look like us. We can't love somebody that comes from the same places we come from because we don't love ourselves and that's the fucked up part so, right and black yeah. our black entrepreneurs are, are a rarity so anytime you got a black person that got a business and they're making money and doing well i don't see the purpose of putting somebody's name in the title of my video that's a youtuber out here on these streets and doing the same thing that i'm doing and gonna drag them i'm just not gonna do it I'm well, not you, well, you dare show drag them pastors you don't play about them pastors well that's different i mean <laughs> let me let me tell you why because I I don't like anybody up under I don't care who it is. I, there are pastors out here in Atlanta that have had children like black boys. I'm a black boy and just totally hide them, pay people off, never recognize them. They never know who their daddy are. Some of them don't even take care of them financially. They're women. There's a particular case right now. Allegedly, a, a woman is a legend, and she came to me and told me, but she said it out publicly first. She done a police report, said that she was raped. She was raped and drugged by a preacher, and it happened right there in the church, and they covered it up and made her sign paperwork. So whenever that kind of stuff going on, I'm going to be on that. I mean, so I only said no preacher. So, you, so basically, you don't like the covers up that be going on in church. No, and I don't like people getting hurt and then don't nobody know nothing about it. And they can't fight with these pastors because they don't have a platform. Granted, I got like three, four, five, six different lawsuits because I'm telling these people's story. They don't go after them. They're coming after me trying to drain my pocket. I done spent $55,000 in lawyer fees in just like four months. You really? know, but 
what you keep talking about them people like that for? <laughs> I, I ain't gonna stop. I ain't gonna stop talking about it. Who else is gonna talk about it? Especially I, come listen, out. I ain't coming out my pocket paying fifty five <laughs> fight with nobody, <laughs> bitch. I go take all them video down and retract all that shit. Okay. Not, yes. Listen, okay. if I ain't gonna spend five hundred dollars on a program, you better the goddamn show. I ain't spending that on no lawyer. Got me talking some shit about somebody business that I really don't give a fuck about. <laughs> Right. Well, you know what's hard for me to turn my head, you know, man, because you know I was in the in the business of people for like twenty years as a pastor myself before I walked away. So it's real hard to know that kind of stuff is going on. And then at the same, first of all, I didn't know what was going on when I was pastoring. I found this out if I started just getting up here talking about different stuff going on in the world. So when I found that out, I'm not gonna let some pastor pump me and drag me to court and feel like I'm just gonna stop talking about them when what you I'm talking about already public. I so wait till become when, when, did you, when did you leave the ministry? I want to know when you stop laying hands on people. Do the, <laughs> and I got a question. Do the blood still work? <laughs> it still work. It, it still work. It, January 2017. I don't know if you know this or not, but Vincent that was working for you, he was a pastor too before I met him. He, I know because Vincent still come around here because Vincent still works with me and uh -huh. Vincent be singing. Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It still work. It still work. I mean, although I ain't, I'm not passing. Hold on, Daryl. Listen, Daryl say, hold on. I'm gonna put your thing back up there, Milan. Daryl okay. say, Larry just discussed the court case that he's under restraining order for he's being sued for slander and defamation of character. Oh, oh, Daryl. Just so everybody know. I do not know that deranged man. I don't know who he is, but he's one of those YouTubers that consistently keeps my name in the title of his videos, I guess because he don't have any real content and is trying to build his channel off of my name. Yeah. So like you were saying how people do you all the time, that gets done to me, but I don't. And it's stupid because really you ought to be using your platform going after these people where this stuff really happened. The evidence is out there. He just recently got online and talked about a case. He's really working with lawyers and judges that are dirty. This is what I be up against, Maddie. And they gave him the transcript from a pre-trial deposition that is not even public information. Oh. These, so these people, these pastors hire lawyers, judges, vloggers to come after me. So this is what I've been dealing with. And I don't know who that fool is. So have you ever talked about uh, uh, Creflo and Taffy? I'm not, nothing public ever came out. If it, See, for me, it has to be public first. Like that one. And what he's talking about, the, the case I'm talking about, I'm not up on it in any order. I can talk about that. This is concerning Octavia Lane and John Kelsey. Hold on. Hold on, Larry. <laughs> we ain't got nothing to do with it. And Larry already told y'all that I'm cheap, so don't come over here fucking with me because I ain't got 55 cents to give you. Don't come over here with that shit. I don't give a fuck what y'all over there doing in the church. I don't go to the motherfucker. So don't come telling me, but I don't give a fuck what y'all over there doing. Yeah. I, I fellowship in my home. I watch Trinity Broadcast <laughs> Network and I keep the movie. Well, you know, I, I'm not even gonna mention on your platform because they they could try to come anywhere I go, you know. But the, the the thing is this: it's a very real. There's nothing that I have ever said that was not true and provable. No judge has found me to be a liar or anything that I said was not true, and it's not going to happen because I kept my receipts. And so, allegedly, yeah, <laughs> I'm, allegedly, I'm gonna throw that in there, you know. So. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's what it is. And it seemed like to me, if a guy is on YouTube talking about how our women, our children, and also the gays are violated and victimized, why ain't y'all helping me? Versus coming after me as a YouTuber, you need to be helping me. Uh, Larry, whoever Daryl is, whoever Daryl is down there, Daryl is saying, hold, Daryl saying, hold up now. Wait a minute. <laughs> Daryl, are you and Daryl beefing? Yeah, Daryl been beefing. No, 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 no. Daryl is beefing with me. I don't know who he is. I've never spoke with him. I don't even know who he is. But his videos have my name in them. I don't even know him. But they said, let Daryl on, girl. Daryl want to tell his story. The street community. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. I got to put the banner down there. Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where is that? I don't see it. 
Go down. It's more down here. Hold on. Big. All right. So we about to get into this right here. The street community says. The street committee. The street committee. I got to put that down there. The street committee says. The street committee says. <laughs> the street committee says. All right. Now listen. Who is Daryl? Because they want. Baby, they is on Daryl. Daryl. Oh, Daryl say y'all done talk before, Larry. No, never. That's a lie. You should make him prove. Look, and this is the thing. I don't understand why his followers don't make him prove anything that he says. I've never had a conversation when he started emailing me out the blue like last November telling me all this stuff about another blogger named William McCray, obnoxious. And I said, okay. You know, he emailing me. I'm like, why is this guy emailing me out the blue? And I was sent back, okay, thanks. I've never talked to him. Now, he started texting one of my cell phones. I blocked him. He's never had a conversation with me. I do not know him. But he clearly knows the people that I'm in court with because they're giving him manipulated information for him to take and create all these lies. So they gave him your phone number too? Yeah. They put my phone number, my address out, put it all over the internet, three or four different vloggers. Yeah. But Maddie had that, that happens when you're in this position. I remember somebody putting her address out. Yeah, they still do that shit. Yeah. You know, wait a minute. They, they said they want Daryl to come on. Where is Daryl? Daryl, where you at? Larry, you go, you uh, listen, could y'all have a civil conversation? I can't speak with him legally. I can't speak to him. Oh, oh now okay. listen, I because he sent he sent a cease and desist letter to my lawyer. <laughs> and so my lawyer got involved and responded to him. So we're in a where that him and my lawyer or whoever representing him are in a battle, and I'm not supposed to have any dealing with him okay. at all. Okay, all right. Yeah, listen now, Daryl. I have to have you on in a separate time. I told you, Larry over there with a fifty-five thousand dollar lawyer. I can't afford that. Yeah. I, okay. I got closed about for a whole season, so I can't. I can't, I, I can't afford that. Yes, she can. She does that go I ain't got 55 <laughs> cents to give nobody. <laughs> I can't do it. So I have to Daryl. I have to talk with you later on about it. And then y'all have to retort. Cause see, I like to get down to the bottom of things. Cause you know I'm I'm into bottoms. So I like to get down to the <laughs> <laughs> Would that be Keisha bottles? No, not Keisha bottles. No, <laughs> I ain't getting in that shit though. I don't want to have nothing to do with that. The street committee say TS Master don't have nothing to do with that. I listen, I talk yeah. to everybody. I wouldn't fool up with it, especially him. The man is crazy. Anytime no, you nah, listen, I don't want to have no problems with the church stuff. I don't need the Holy Ghost hanging, hanging, hanging down on me. Yeah, it, exactly. I mean, if you're going to help as relates to people that are like these children and stuff. And even this dude put out my, my children's information. Say something about my man, children. Put my link back up. That's crazy. Okay. I got to type it again. Go to the comments. Remember how you had it in the comments? In I the did. Private, but in the private chat. It is. In the private chat. Let's click copy it. Oh, oh it like hold it. on. Yes, I oh, can. Hey. Yeah. Oh, Chicha, you listen, Chicha, you smarter than a mother. I'm learning from you. Shit. Hey, hey. Yes. Come hey. on, there you go. Boom. Oh, wait. Oh, hey, hey go. You two talking about they thought it was spam. Hold on. I'll take it and, and pass the lie detector. Oh, Dur 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 said he'll take it and pass the lie detector. Oh, well, okay. Like, Daryl oh, Dar ain't playing. I'm scared of you, Daryl. Daryl, you mm. come with 55. <laughs> Daryl, I love you. We we a good. Listen, we a morning show. I'm scared of you. I don't. I don't like. Listen, I'm tired of windmill windmilling. My arms tired. I, I mean, and, and the man they tired of windmilling too. We just want peace in the east. That's all we want. Yeah, I mean, cause I mean, who? I don't like to be involved in the beefing back and forth. That's the reason why when I went on Conscious TV platform, I addressed it, and he got the videos over there. Conscious TV is one of the most integral YouTubers that are out there, and he addressed. I love Conscious TV. I want to have Conscious TV on my on my show one of these good days. Yeah. Maddie, what's the name of this show? You gonna do this every morning? What's it's called Maddie morning? in the Morning. You see the logo Maddie in the, in the morning. morning. Tuesday, Thursday, so Friday. Gonna, so you gonna do this? You gonna do this every morning, Maddie? Well, while right, the quarantine going on, you know we ain't got shit to do. And then <laughs> okay. once, the, once the quarantine is over and we all can get back to work, my schedule gonna uh -huh. get back tight. Okay. Because I, I I'm gonna be no. in the midst. I, I like this. I like this. This is this is I like. Yeah, I this like dope. this. This is nice. Milan, this they say dope. they want you to take your shirt off now. Okay, hold on. Let me do it. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Let me move this thing. The flesh jack. I got to see all this. Oh, everybody, give us a breakfast. Give us a breakfast this morning. 
Oh, can y'all see? Oh, hold on, we got to move your flesh, Jack. How you take it out? Oh. oh. Can y'all see it? I feel fat. Oh, don't do that. Oh, no, leave the pants up. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> leave the pants up. Leave the pants. <laughs> Let us see what the back look like. <laughs> we want to see, want to see how strong the back is. We need to see how strong the back is. Look, they down there saying, oh, yes. The street committee says they want to see how strong the back is. Do your arms like this. My Lord, do it like this here. Put up on the ass. Oh, my God, the day. <laughs> Hold on. Somebody just, somebody just chimed in. Hold on. Wait a minute. No, Craig. Please. Craig over there eating cake. He saw you pull your stuff. He started eating a bagel. I'm, I'm eating an apple. <laughs> Craig What's up, you that What's up, up that he, that. he said he got to get his fiber in. <laughs> Clear out, Craig. Clear out. <laughs> Craig, is you gonna get my love flesh, Jack? Um, I'm gonna use yours after you clean it off. Now listen to Corona out here, child. Don't say you got it from me. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't say you got it from me. It came in the box. When my love said it to me, he came from over there in California. It came in the box. It sure did. Hey, Craig, what's up, Larry Reed? How you doing? What's Craig. up, man? I ain't seen you in a long time. How you doing? I'm well. I cannot complain. It's been a minute. Yeah, Larry Reed trying to get a high up for the morning show with the foolishness. I ain't got time for that. No, that won't mean. Look, that was that was the, that other dude that came in there with all that kind of craziness. I, them, no folk is crazy over there. That nah. whole mm -mm. that whole sector is wild. So, Larry, hold what, on. I got something for y'all. Hold on. So, Larry, you came this morning because you wanted to ask me. How I feel about the pastors making the people go to church. Pushing them, making them come to church, using the scripture that says, forsake not to assemble yourself together. How you feel about it? And listen, if, if they ain't follow all the other scriptures, why the fuck they want to follow that one? <laughs> <laughs> the Bible told them don't cut their ass down there on endless shrimp, bitch, and eat all the shrimp and the, and the crab cakes and stuff. And right out the church, they down there to the Red Loss at the endless shrimp. The Bible told them don't do that. And they still went down there and did it. They got choices. Okay. They got so listen, listen, Craig, listen, Craig, Craig uh, and, and um Larry and Maddie. This is what I'm gonna send y'all. So so this is the the deal though. This is the packaging, real hey, nice. You know that. I do. Uh -huh, you see that? That's the nice. minute this mayor says she don't want no Theodora's. That's the deal though. This is the, the this is the this is the pocket ass. It's Wait, the, okay, Madonna, I got a question for you. Let me see that. Well, look. <laughs> yes, man. Yes. That's what I want. Right. Okay, right, I'm gonna send this right, to you, right. Craig. Milan, Milan. Yeah. Craig, you want to do it? Wait. Let me let me go, let me go ahead and test this you on the dress now. I'm sending this to Maddie because this got both of them in it. I need I both of them. B o f m u m. Both of them. Well, Milan, listen. Let me okay. Open it up. This 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 the package, and I'm gonna send to you, Matt. You get both of them. All right, I want both of them now. M Milan, I'm gonna text okay. you my address. I don't trust my product going over there. I may not have it yet. <laughs> you, okay, right, yeah, text Milan, me, so you, text you, got my, you got my number, uh, uh Craig. So text. Yes, me I'm gonna text it. Oh, my fuck me, sis, brother out there, Milan. Listen, so when you package this, uh, send it to me too. But I don't want the deal, though. Thing. I just want the 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 pocket booty. And speaking of the pocket, no, booty. you need the ten and a, you need the ten and a half, Chichi. You can't you can't just get the pocket. You gotta get the the, the deal, though. You gotta have all of it. Okay, bro, but you the pocket booty, the booty that's is that the, <laughs> is that the real case on there? Like, is that really is it is a replica of you? He sat down on it yeah, and they so made it's a skin. It. It's a skin. After I posed new for Paper Magazine, I got this deal with Flesh Jack, and they they scanned my body parts, and then they made these toys. Out. So it's basically oh, feel like your hoe. That's what I'm getting at. Well, how the, how the sales been? Is the sales been good? The sales have been amazing. Have been amazing. Man, amazing. So you want to feel like you fucking them? Is that what you saying? I'm just I'm trying to I'm because the people out here want to know, Craig. It's not me. It's the people. Yes, it's <laughs> it's it's, so, it's me. It's it's a scan of my body. It's a scan of my ass. It's a scan of my 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 build, my penis. It's it's me. It's a replica. So it feels like you. Yeah, it, it's it's made with the micro 
microfibers that feel that are like human skin and everything. Yes, girl, see that. Go okay, right, Larry, yes. Larry, can we? Can do you? Do if you don't, if you don't want yours, send me both of them. No, I don't. Want, I, I don't. I don't want one, but I some. I support it. I support what you're doing. But that's you Larry, you to me. Larry, you straight? Yes, sir. Oh, Craig, uh, Craig, wait, 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 wait. Larry is what? Oh, S T R A I G H T. Oh, I didn't know that. Me <laughs> that was my next answer. That was well, I went around for like two or three weeks. I mean, Listen, but, yeah. if, if y'all can respect me as she, respect him as he, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I know, he, I know he's a he. <laughs> Craig, what you saying? <laughs> I know he's a he. I, I just. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and you know, and that's a whole nother issue in the church that I've been attacking as well. It's really time for Maddie you to come on again. I mean, cause the issue, I don't see why the big issue with the church and the gay community, it just makes no sense to me. Because the Bible say about the homosexuals, but I be trying to tell the children that the King James version was written two or three times and ain't no way in the book that it say anything about any gay. Well, King James was same gender loving himself. Ooh, well, well, actually it was, it was King James daddy. Mm. That okay. was same gender loving. Okay. See, All I, right. I, I studied the Tudor dynasty. Come, the come on, prophetess. <laughs> I studied that. What do you say? You said, come on, prophetess. What you say? Come on, prophetess. Greg is retarded. <laughs> come on, prophetess, Hanson. Everybody shot. Tell I be shot. E B B O D O C. Well, what if I need to buy them? I want to know about that. Do you know why I need to buy them personally? Yes, I do. So tell, can you give us a little insight since we got the church on the line? If the street committee want to know. <laughs> the street committee want to know whose panties was moved around in the box. Did her panties get prayed over before she went down there to the hotel room? Well, it was her assistant who is a former lesbian. Um, her assistant is the She's one. She's a what? She's a former lesbian. That's out. That's on the internet. I'm only woman talking woman about what is public. Retired. It's public. Retired. No, her pussy retired. It's, it's, it's public. She's no. She says that she's no longer a lesbian. Her assistant. So her oh, assistant no. is the one that put out her panties and her bra. It was her that did it. And they uh, they alleged that the pastor came in there and saw it. But the reality is the pastor didn't even walk in that part of the suite, and he didn't see it. I interviewed him on the show, and he never saw him and his wife. And her assistant called into the show, and then they got in the fight. The reality is this: Juanita Bynum went live blaming the pastor that he saw her, her, uh, her bra and her panties when he did not see it, and she had no evidence and no proof. Period. So you say her ex assisted the ex, the ex, ex, the ex lesbian? It's her assistant. Yeah. Oh, they, they had some business right there. But you know what? It about them said herself. She called into a radio show, and allegedly, this is when her girlfriend, her former girlfriend. Allegedly, her former girlfriend said that she was going to kill Greg her. not buying this story. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm just waiting for y'all to finish. <laughs> He's not buying this story at all. <laughs> all right. Right. Well, that's what the, well, she went on a radio show and said herself that she used to sleep with men and women. Why didn't buy them say that herself? I was waiting for you to get to that part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that section. <laughs> Said that, and I'm only saying what's out there in the public. This is not something I know, you know, from knowing from talking to her. This is just because of what is in the public. She said that in her own voice, and her assistant said it in her own voice that she's a former lesbian. But you know, but, you know, do you know the church folk that are former LGBTQ? They're usually the ones that go the hardest on on our community. Larry, so are you former LGBTQ? Who you talking about, Donnie? You talking about Donnie McCullough? Larry, I'm talking about Larry. Are you Larkins? I'm Larry. Larry, are you former LGBTQ, Larry? No, no, I'm not former <laughs> LGBTQ. I just found out about. I really Milan, got Milan, educated. Milan. I really got educated through Maddie. No, I'm well, not. Larry, let me ask you a question. Would you get your dick sucked by a man? Oh, somebody shoot me right now. Well, it's somebody. hard to say because I actually have. But I got to explain it. Oh, oh but I got to explain it. I got to explain it. I got to explain So not only have you had your dick sucked, but have you put your penis in a gay man? No, no, no. You don't have to explain it. You don't have to explain 
So look, here's the question. So not only have you been sucked by a man, but have you ever put your penis in a man? Yes, but let me explain. All right, let me explain. Explain. Let me explain. Oh, okay, but well, while you explain, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. Are you in so you is or you are former LGBTQ? Let's get into the story. We're gonna find out what's going on with Booster. This gonna answer Booster question. We're gonna find out what's going on with Booster when he explains. Booster, you gonna tell us what you did with your penis? Let's find out what you did with your penis. Let me explain. When did you retire? <laughs> no, no. Let him explain. Let, let me explain. Now, oh, oh now those that follow the platform know my entire story. I've been very open about it. Well, well come on. They don't I, know your story. I don't know your story. We, 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 we open up here. We open up here. From earliest I can remember, and I've said this on the how many interviews, the earliest thing I can remember as a child, the first thought is the smell of another man's crotch. Oh. Because Ooh. I was what? I was consistently and repeatedly all the way up until twelve up. years old. Actually, I was just turning thirteen. Oh, over and over the truth. of my cousins, two of two outside of them, two of them were female, but the other six were male, and so that happened to me all of my life, all the way up until almost thirteen years old. So, so what was you smelling crotches happen all your life? No, I was forced to give fellatio. I was given fellatio. Okay, and I actually, one of them that was a, I'm, at, I, I'm not going to put their name out there because they still they have a family and everything now. And and I, well, you don't need no more lawsuits. <laughs> and I, I, mean, I was able to, I was able to talk from over there. I was able to talk to, to him and kind of find out the same thing was done to him in our family. See, our family is full of preachers and, and prophets and musicians. And I didn't know that was going on in the family. I thought it was just me and a couple of more that told me as I got older. But So how long, uh, hold, on, hold on, how long has it been since you was a former LGBTQ member? And, and here's the addendum to his question. And were the times that you performed fellatio only when you were a minor or were you were you of adult mind? Oh, I was a, no, that's not, at 12, 13 years old, you're adult. But then this is what happened later no, on. I mean like adult, adult. I was, hold on, I'm about to tell you what happened to me when I was almost 17 years old. Mm. Oh, so, okay. This is what happened. So then I got, I was already in the church as a musician playing, doing drums, piano, organ, and all of that. So what? And it may now that I think about it, it may have something to do with sort of what I'm doing now. I'm gonna send you my. I'm gonna go ahead and send you my toys anyway. <laughs> <laughs> back up there. I'm gonna go ahead. I don't and want just listen. Him the toys. But but Milan, send him the toys. I anyway. would know. Thank you, my, Nikki. Thank you, Nikki. I would know with my experience what I like and what I do not like. I, okay. I find it, this is why I find it very interesting for Boosie to, to be talking about and totally possessed with somebody else the way that they have sex when you when he should know the way that he like to have sex. Why does some the way somebody else have sex even matter? So yeah. I, and we've kind of moved on. Wait, 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 Fred, hold on, Fred. Let me I get this out. I want to hear the answer to Milan's question. And then I gotta say my question before I forget, Larry. Okay, go ahead. Do your question. I can remember. How, Milan. No, no. How long has it been since you was practicing LGBT or, or was the former LGBTQ member? How long has it been? Well, I was never LBGT, whatever. Well, when was member. the last time you enjoyed? Bro, the last, but the last, the but the last time, <laughs> the, last, <laughs> the last time that transpired was when the situation I'm about to tell you guys about. You know, that was I was about 17 years old. Oh, okay. And okay, I'm, so I'm 42 Larry. now. So, Larry, I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. Craig, not buying that. Greg, not about. Greg, not about. Wait, wait, I got to get this out. So, Larry, when you was when you was performing fellatio, did did when you did your did you get a rise in your panties when you was performing when you was performing? Hey, my the, let me say this, and this is probably pretty graphic, but that's the first time I found out what nut was, what cum was, because that did happen. But I, I did not know it was happening. Um, prior to that, what would happen? So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and send you this. I'm gonna, go ahead and send you this. I'm, I'm gonna get your address. I, I, I don't go want it. Send it to you. I, I All right. I'm gonna go. I, I don't Just want have it. Wait, I got another statement. question for you, Larry. Okay. Hold on. I got another question for you. Okay. okay. So when you when you performed fellatio and you and you and you did that, yeah. After you did that, did you? How did it make you feel? Horrible. 
that and that didn't happen to I see this is the thing that happened when I was really 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 young where I can't hardly remember I remember the smell but then it happened again later on up in age and that's when that's how come I am very clear on what I like my, I know I've I'm had at 17 at 17 when you did that no. right you, it didn't happen at 17 so you didn't it you around it was around almost 13 years old when I had to do it so when you were 17 Explain your 17 story again. Okay, at 17 years old, my young men in the church at this time. I hadn't started I hadn't started preaching yet. But there was this church that was in town that was a filled with a whole lot of young people. Where the church I was raised in was older people. So when I went to this church with young people, so I went, what's wrong with you? <laughs> so when I, I when I went when I went to the church with um Young people, there was young pastors that were there, and so everybody would go over there to their house. And it was a very musical church, and I was in, into music. So when I went over there to the house, my mama didn't, didn't like for me to go, but I went over there to the house, and we would play games and stuff. One of the times I went over there, I was having trouble at my Girl, mama's if you house. You don't get to this damn story. I, would have, I always <laughs> take the long <laughs> route. <laughs> I always take the long route. Look at man at her mouth. <laughs> but uh, I gotta get the tea because I gotta get the so when, tea, I, when I one of the times I went over there, they knew what was going on with my parents. I thought <laughs> I was just drinking and eating regular stuff, regular stuff like normal, but I woke up to being sodomized. Child, so that's so that's you know, what they penetrated too. Yes, so they that, raped you. Yeah, yes. And it was, and to this day, and so I put it on my platform. On in the church. You to this raised, day, to you <laughs> all this stuff in the church by the church folk. That's it, and that's that's exactly right. So why wouldn't I do the story on Octavia Lane and John Kelsey? Why wouldn't I do the story on the children that's been buried? Why wouldn't I do the story on the way that some of the homosexuals are treated in the church? Because you was that's where I come from, like that in the church. So that's that happened to me in. In the church, I mean, I never connected it until sitting here in this moment, but I, I never really connected the two together. But who knows? But that's what happened. So, right now, so you can see yourself as a scrape man, he is. I know what I want, hush. okay? <laughs> well, he said he's great, <laughs> but see, I know. But see, he, he 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 if you, if you go. have not had that type, type of in my opinion, now me and Darius Cook, I had him on my show, we, we had a, a going back and forth about this. I said, I know what I like more than what you know because he's a gold star gay. I said, so you don't even, you haven't even had the experience. You don't really know what you were really like, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. But I've had it. I'm married for eight years. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, one more, and I'm telling you, y'all can, can, can do what y'all need to do. Oh, they don't mind me. So right now, at this moment, do you have, do you have urges to do it again? Do, no, you, do you find yourself going through the urges like, oh, I just want to do it so bad. Oh, I just want to put a cock in my mouth so bad. No, no, that terrible memories connected to that. Not at all. Not at all. And and I'm not telling me you lie. No, no, no. that might be his story, Chief. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let me say this. Let me say this. This is the reason why I sort of connected with Maddie because in, in talking to Maddie, we've had these kind of conversations. Mm -hmm. I, I think these kind of conversations would you put Maddie's penis in your mouth? No. Well, I don't have a penis. I got a dick. And he came <laughs> <laughs> what, I, what I am saying is, I like these kind of conversations. I mean, Kendall. Would you fuck Maddie in her asshole? The, I ain't no. got an ass. I got a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> what you got, girl? I got a pussy. P W A S S I a pussy. Uh, I, I I'm enjoying the conversation. I think because no, Larry, because I was I was once too. You know, I was once touched when I was a child. But at the, at the early at the early age, I already knew what I was. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I feel like the the the, the person that did that to me, I feel like he prayed on me because I was already, you know, whatever. So that's why I was asking. You was piano key. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. so that, what, what instrument did you play in the church? I played the piano, the drum, and the organ. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Go ahead, Greg. I'm done. Back to you, Craig. Back to so you. So that's what I wanted to say. Like you were saying a moment ago, um, that somebody was trying to challenge you and say that, and this was a gold star gay. Yeah. And he was trying to yeah. challenge you, and he had never been with women before. Yeah. But what I wanted to say to that was, and you said because you've had both, you mm -hmm. understand which one you prefer, which one you'd like better. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, 
sexuality is not about which one you prefer, which one you like more, because sexuality is instinctive. It's how we're wired. It's not a choice. It's not a decision. It's not. A, it's not a choice of which one feels better. It's just. It's just how you're wired. Right. Uh, you let me say, let, but let me say this, go Craig, and I agree with what you're saying for some people. But there are some people who make a choice and make a decision and what they want to do with their life. And they and so what, I got they, a question. At seven, at 17, 13, 14, you said all your life you was you was sucking dick. Um, when did you realize <laughs> that, okay, dick, yeah. that this that sucking dick was just not like when was you gonna say enough is enough? So you just gonna keep sucking the dicks until you like I don't understand. Oh, I just I just made that I just know myself. I mean, and and even as I'm thinking so you about never it, don't tell nobody that you was <laughs> they was forcing dicks down your throat. That's that's all I'm saying. Say it again now. I didn't hear you. Say it again. So when you was you said you were sucking dick all your childhood, then you was 13, 14, you ejaculated from sucking the dick. When did you say to yourself that, yo, I have to stop sucking dick. I don't like this. This is rape. I gotta, you gotta stop doing this to me. Well, this this is the strange thing. I knew within myself I didn't like it, but I continued to do it because of what was coming alongside of what was being done. Because see, it was a it was a violation. So and a manipulation all at one time. So I continued to do it because it was put in my mouth or put in my face, but it wasn't really what I didn't have a choice really. It, it, I, at 13 and 14, I know for me at 13 to 14, I can't speak for everybody else. I'm only speaking for myself now. As a kid, you know, five, six, seven, like you said, you was doing it when you was really young. Mm -hmm. But at 13 or 14, there's a defiancy that comes with around that age. That's like niggas, true. like I'm I'm not sucking your like I'm gonna tell. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah. you never had that moment. Where you had to tell these people because you said you sucked multiple dicks. It wasn't just one person. Yeah. So that's true. That's you know, true. But this but let me tell you, but what was coming, what was coming with the one that I continued to suck. Milan, I'm hurt you. These <laughs> other psychological manipulative things that I was missing at some level with a great mom and with a great dad and a great family. There had to be something that I was missing because I did I was willing to do that to get the other stuff I was getting. Combine you. You know, because I was a fighter when I was young and nobody knew that I was fighter except for a few of the people that I actually fought, mainly this one that, that was molesting me that I had fought one time before. So we used to have these fight tournaments in the um, in the um, community. And so he was like, sort of became like the person that said, hey, Larry can do this. Larry can do more than play the piano, da, 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 but he can whip tail, da, 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 and put me up and fight. You know, so he was giving me a lot of attention and giving me a whole lot of praise and recognition. So... I would do that because it sort of came with the relationship. Okay, hold on. Here's the thing. The only... Milan, you've never been touched, right, as a child. No. Craig, you've never been touched as a child. No. I've never been touched as a child. Chi-Chi has. So, just what you said. So, here's the thing. We don't know what that's like because that's, right. not, that's not a part of the story. So, this is why it sounds... But I understand where you're going, Maddie. If one person was doing it, it it's one thing. But now you're telling me it's multiple people who... But, 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 but hold that, on. That but we kinda... can't... But, but no. But, but Milan, we can't be uh, insensitive to what he's saying because this is not... These are experiences that we haven't had. We don't know how psychologically this could be going on because if you're doing something or someone's done this to you and and... And then somebody else do it. You think that this is the thing? This is the silent that thing. That is normal. That it's normal. So we can't really, you know, say Not if you feel violated and feel forced and feel. I raped. didn't feel that way. So, but see, I didn't feel that way with that particular one. He I, said that he was sucking dick to because but that man was, was praising him and giving him life. No, he no, no, said no. He was sucking this, the boy dick. Hold on, Larry. Hold on, Larry. <laughs> Larry said he was sucked the boy dick because the boy gave him attention and was going around the neighborhood saying he knew how to fight. He knew how to play the piano. He knew how to do all these things. So in order to uh, please him, he would suck his dick. Ain't that what you said, Larry? No, that's not what I said. What I said was that along with, because I'm looking at it now and seeing what it was. At the time, psychologically, I didn't know what it was. It was just part of the relationship that we had. He was giving me more. He was, I was making me suck his dick, but he was sucking my dick to make me put my dick in his butt. And at the same time, he was also. Also, oh, you fucked him too. This was, yeah, this was full and blown. Your dick got him hard? This will. Okay, I, I gotta go. go. But, um, I, no, uh, Milan, you can't. Put, but, my, um, put but that you, thing up on your thing. Um, uh, 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 
T.S. Madison. He confusing the hell out of me. I got to go. Put uh, <laughs> www.fleshjack.com forward slash Milan. I'm confused. And I don't, I don't know what to say. But let me know, say this: I'm but, not but this is one of the things that when I, when I started hanging around the LBGT community, Maddie will introduce this to me. I began to find out. And I'm gonna say this, and I hope I'm anybody that was set, but I find it very interesting with a community that has been browbeat and has been really done horribly by so many different other societies. It's almost like when somebody else tells the LBGT community and experience they have not had and it has not happened the way that it happened in, in their world, then they then become the, the people that have really abused them. It's like they turn into their oppressor. Yeah, but no, because the problem, the, no, 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 because that's, that's definitely addressing what I'm saying to you. The problem that I'm having with your story and the discrepancies that I'm having with your story is, A, if I'm a person who is being violated, if I'm a person who is being raped, and I'm being raped by someone, it is not anything pleasurable about that, okay? So you, you've you gotten raped by, you, you, you're that, forced to suck. Hold on, wait, let me, I'm gonna, cause I wanna, I wanna be clear, cause I don't wanna yeah. say something that's out of turn. As a child, you were sucking, some person was forcing you to suck their penis. Right. You didn't wanna do it. Six another feet. person, uh, another person forced you to suck their penis. You didn't wanna do it. Then you meet this other guy at 12 or 13 years old. No, he's one of the one of the six. He's one of the okay, six. Okay, one of one of the six. Yes, one of the six. I, I I think you just missed the part of the story. At six years, when I was young, there were six people all the way up to a certain age. Only one of them continued to do stuff with me up until the age of 12 or 13. That's the one. And then that that but what you're missing is when you're getting molested like this, it doesn't feel like violation. What happened to me at 17? Is what I talk of being a violation. This did not feel. This was like. That's why I said it was manipulative. It well, did this, not yeah, feel this, like this, a violation. This, this was the only thing that I I was kind of stuck with. I'm not insensitive about the molestation. For me, when you said it went to you were 17, like I'm like at that point, where is the consent? Where, well, what what happened to 17? Not at 12, 13, but there was an entirely different situation that happened in an entire different city and space that happened with people in the church where I was actually given something to drink and woke up to being sodomized. That what felt like the violation. And what happened when I was really young felt like a violation. But what happened when around the age of eight to 12 with that one person, that it didn't feel like a violation. Okay, I get what he's saying. What he's saying was between eight to twelve, like that was something that felt normal. He it felt did. violated when when he, he he what he said he was drugged. Right. How old was the per? I got another question. How old was the person from eight to twelve? How old was that person versus your age? He was like, if I'm forty two now, I think he's forty eight or forty nine. So y'all was around the same age group. At that time, he was a teenager, and I won't. So he I, he was much bigger than me at the time. If he was so, if he was, you were eight. When you said it started at eight, he mm -hmm. was he was twelve. Okay, so did that feel like to? And, and I'm being so. Did it feel like you were in a relationship <laughs> with this person versus you being molested? Yes. Okay. Now you get it because see, here's the thing. I got it. What he was saying, and my thing is, we don't have those experiences, so we don't know. And I can I can True. only accept. I can only accept if a person is telling me. They're experiencing a situation like that, and I've never experienced that. Mm -hmm. That's just like us telling the straights, telling straight people our story. Like, hey, I'm trans. I couldn't get no motherfucking job. I had I turned to prostitution. Yeah. So I, if, and some people say, well, bitch, you could have went out there and worked. You could have did this. I'm like, well, girl, I was transitioning at a young age, bitch, and you know, I still had stubble on the chin and titties on the chest, little titties growing. So it was a problem. You get what I'm saying? And, and it's just like, yeah. so when you express this stuff, people don't see it from that place because they don't walk in those shoes. Mm -hmm. So I, I think once, once he described it, once he kind of, because he left out things that was kind of intri intricate to, yeah. you know, me under, well, me personally, me understanding where he was coming from. But now that he's saying that it was, you know, it was one person in particular that he, that he felt like he was in a relationship with. It was yeah. kind of like a, a yin and yang thing for a couple of years. So he felt it normalized it. It, it no longer yeah. felt like, you know, he was being molested. And those but other five, he thing, kept me from those other five. See this, it was six right. of them, but he was one of the ones 
that didn't do me like the rest of them when they would take me behind mama and the house and say something I did and put my dick and put their dick in my mouth. That that he wasn't one of those that operated like that. He did. Larry, I ain't trying to be funny, but I like when a man get aggressive with me like that. <laughs> I go right around the house, I suck it. That's just what it is. <laughs> <laughs> and my spirit rises in my panties. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes her ooze and slime come out of the mother. <laughs> okay, so this this guy really deep. I you know, I ain't really, you know, but Larry, somebody in the comment, Charles R. knows the second said, never been with a woman. Please clear that up and let them know. You have you've been married and you have children. Yeah, my two girls are upstairs right now. I actually moved since last time you came over, Maddie. Um, um, yeah, my both my children are upstairs now. The same as mine that you done move, nigga. It's bigger. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. No, you ahead. own yours. You own go yours. Ahead. I'm leasing. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. You own yours. I'm leasing. Okay, but um, yeah, my two children upstairs. I was married to a very beautiful woman who was still friends today for 18 years. You know, so uh, yeah, yep. All right. Mm-hmm. So, so are you having sex with a woman right now as we speak? I it's funny. Somebody asked me this question this morning. I have not had sex since 2016. Oh, girl, why? <laughs> <laughs> look at, look at, what? look at. Chris, where you at, girl? I'm, I'm stepping out. Y'all let me know when y'all start talking about something now. <laughs> I'm going to go get you something. Have you had sex on, with yourself since 2016? Yeah, and I've had some other situations as well, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I ain't got no more questions about it. Well, Larry, listen, you done came here and shook it up. We found out your story. Thank you for coming here and telling Look, us. Thank you, Maddie. Thank you. Really. I know you did say that. I couldn't take another big personality on Natalie on this motherfucker. I got four big personalities on this bitch this morning, and Chi Chi big personality, and my personality the biggest in this motherfucker. <laughs> so if we was having a dick measuring contest, who would win? <laughs> yeah, this is, this is dope. But let me let me say this. Let me say this for those that may have came over um uh, for LR Ellers. Isn't it interesting that this kind of conversation happened in a community that they say is of the devil and this conversation did not happen in in a church setting and with preachers? Why is it that the church is not having these type of conversations? Well, that's all I want to say. Of the devil. You get what I'm saying? Just like them going out there to the endless shrimp after they leave the pulpit is of the devil too. I don't want to hear now motherfucking about to tell me shit is of the devil when they down there busting out the crab dip over there at the Red Lobster. I don't want to hear none of that motherfucking (laughs) shit. Because see, let me tell you something. I'm going to say this and then I'm going to let you go, Larry. I'm going to tell you this. Religion is what killed Jesus. True. True. Jesus, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, all three of them in one, want us to have a relationship, not no religion. And when the when the people understand that a relationship come with all the baggage they come with, because it's just like if you jump out there in a relationship now with somebody, they got baggage with them. You got to work through that. Truth. And that's how God works. Amen. And that's just what it is. Y'all got to worry about the relationship. All you religious motherfucking hoes that come on my bullshit talking that stuff, telling me about it. I don't know the Lord. I don't know God. I don't know nothing. You don't know shit about me because you don't know the relationship I got with God because they don't say shit to me. Uh, <laughs> I said that on your show. Don't say shit to me. <laughs> I still got that clip. Don't say shit to me. You don't know my relationship with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. You get what I'm saying? Because I got titties at the top and dick at the bottom. You don't know my relationship. Mm. You don't know how many nights that he done covered me, honey, from the gun, or he done covered me from the AIDS, or he done covered me from all the other stuff that could have took a bitch out. I'm 40. I'm finna be... She's gonna be 43 this year, honey. <laughs> And I bitch, you don't know what he done covered me from, because the, the situation is, my story is it's bigger than me. Everything that go on my which which come right circumvents back to what we talked about when we first came on. The shit bigger than me. Right. Yeah. Larry. 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 If your wife, I don't want you to Larry, think. I got a question. You ain't had sex with your wife since 2016. Yeah. If no, they're not married no more. The, they're not married. They're no not more. married no more. No. no we, yeah, no. we got. Oh, now that's a whole nother show. She ended. Up, <laughs> that is a whole nother show. But I, I'll say that for another time. But that's a whole nother show. But yeah, we um we divorced, um, but we're still friends. We're still friends. 
And Larry, thank you for seeing your story again. Oh yeah, thank. thank I, it was, it was good. Shelly, <laughs> Shelly said the opinions expressed are solely just the opinion of those opinions or any competition. These opinions do not reflect mine or the staff. Hey, Amen. That's good. That protect you right there. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Thanks yeah. so much, Matt. Yeah. Thank you, Larry. All right. Thank you. And I forgive you. You all right a little bit. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. See you later. Bye. 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 Man, that was deep, honey. Listen, and I, I don't want y'all to think out there that we take molestation and um, trichonomics and any of the things that we don't take. Milan, where is it? Over there. Milan in New York. Girl, she's somewhere, girl. Milan, who is that right there? Hold on, let me make the screen big, Craig. Hold on, let me see what's going on in Milan house. Don't you go nowhere. Let me make this big. I got to see. You know I'm the only child. You know I'm a queen. Who did like that? Who that? And you knew that I would not know that. But you said right there, I said I'm about to order me four sauces. Oh, wait a minute. Now, Milan got some private stuff going on. We gonna Milan? We gonna move yacht while no, you take I care don't. of your business? No, I don't. Don't you? Don't you do that? <laughs> Oh, I ain't know what was going on. We had to move Craig and we had to be real nosy. What you got to eat? <laughs> you just know where you ain't supposed to be eating no burrito no. now. Is that gonna no, tap your stomach? What you said? Is that gonna tap your stomach? You know you verse what? now. Craig, ain't you verse too? No, bitch. Okay. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm for you, Craig. Wait, hold up, mama. Hold on, bitch. Listen. <laughs> Listen. Oh my god. Um, what? I don't good. even know what I wanted to say. No, you I'm know damn so, well that's what you. I'm ordered. just so flummoxed. You, you, uh, you, you say what, Greg? I'm so flummoxed from that last conversation. I don't you even know where to begin. Craig, can you break down flummox for me? You know, Craig please? got his de- he, Craig got his degree from Harper. <laughs> <laughs> from Harper's <laughs> Be fuddled. Then, then you get oh, your degree oh. from Harper's. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. It's my from Hampton. From Harper's. Oh, I think we come. From Hampton. You want me to go get the come in? Yes, Chuck. We got a few more minutes of the show, honey. Because, you know, we this the morning. Ain't nobody got nowhere to motherfucking go. Show, don't. Come on. Come on. You in New York? No, I'm in Los Angeles. Okay. What's this background I see? Oh, my man. You put that up there. I thought that was his back. I thought the camera had turned. No, that's Maddie's backdrop on her for her morning show. Yeah, that's I thought right. that was um they say they better leave Craig alone. So Milan, tell us a little bit what's going on in your life before we wait a minute. Oh, hold on, I gotta get that off the screen. My god, no. Yeah, they, they keep sharing said you got your degree from Harpo. Hampton. <laughs> I don't know where. Oh, DeAndre say y'all need to apologize. Craig, y'all need to apologize. No, I'm not apologizing because I know what I know, but I'm not going to sit here and say uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> No. Right, I'm not. No, ma'am. Let, uh-uh. I would never. Well, oh, what I will say is... Hover say, can I, I do say... you, Craig? Yes or no? Wait, what? Jinx Hover said, can I do you, Craig? Yes or no? <laughs> I guess that means it's undecided. Wait, yeah, somebody in the comments was like, Christian Craig. White say, Girl, Craig like pickles. He's 43. Craig like pickles. I don't get it. Yeah, I'm going to leave that alone. Daryl, listen, Daryl, we done shook the table enough. You got to say that for the next morning show. We can't get back on that. We got to say that for the next morning show when I open up the lives. I can't open up the lives right now. We the, the shit got so deep. I was going to open up the lives, but God damn it. I, bitch, that shit was too deep. Malone, why you eating like that? Who you out there? I'm hungry. You already got somebody in the house already over there. Why? Let me tell you what happened. Let me tell y'all what happened, Craig. Now, y'all y'all, y'all answer this. Answer me this. Uh-uh. We don't be messy, Milan. Do not we be down ordering. We sitting down ordering food. This person asked me to order them uh, some uh, chicken and waffles. So I said, yo, they don't got no waffles. They got 
They got pancakes. I, I'm gonna get you the chicken and pancakes. Okay, cool. I'm gonna get me the four sausages. The food comes. All the food is together. He eats my four sausages no. and his pancakes. Then go say he didn't know the four sausages was mine. Milan, them people don't know how you feel about your sausages. <laughs> <laughs> Milan, is this a date or is a boyfriend? This my friend. Who, oh, Milan? Friend. Are you currently dating? Are you currently dating? No, I'm single. If I was that boy, I'd tear your ass up. Right in the head with his, <laughs> right on the head with a glass shoe. Uh, uh, I'm single, and they, 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 they single too. From my single last night. Y'all heard that? I sure did. You want to see him? <laughs> he said you wasn't single I'm, last night. He playing with y'all. Y'all, you y'all had him walking all know. around with his underwear on. I can see him in his gray underwear. Y'all, y'all, y'all know I am a Christian man. So who was up in here tonight? Well, we just, we just heard from what a Christian Larry, man what, now. Hold on, don't start that what Christian Larry man said, stuff. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian man who ain't had sex since 2016. Well, we just okay. heard from that Christian man now, and we know you in there doing something with that boy in them gray shorts on in there. Yeah, gray boxes on there. Especially if I don't know a, what you're talking about. He a cutie. I don't know what you're talking about. Is he a cutie, Myrtle? Is he cute? Oh, yeah, he's cute. So who was talking about him last night? He came to your house. Oh, oh when you came oh. into the show? See, I knew it. I uh -huh. Listen, when you walked in here, mm -hmm. what number five boys came in here with you? <laughs> I may be young, but I was ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all this and then I'm going to go. I have found myself looking at more gay men this season, and I know the ladies can agree with me too. Ladies, we ain't got too much, too much to stuff to look at. These gay men are here in the gym. They working out. They keeping it. Oh. They're keeping their nails clean, their asses and stuff be clean. It's easy for us to get food out here. It's easy for us to get food. Don't do that. It is. Stop. Don't do that. Don't do that. It is. It's easy for us to get food. And they not listen. You just got to pull your kid up, go over there to Chichi website to get the fuck me sis shirt. Yo, actually, and he hit you for the fact as long as you put your fuck me sis shirt on. That's all right. You'll be okay. Chichi, where my shirt at? Chichi, where my shirt at? You supposed to send me a shirt. I gotta get you one line. I, I'm on the Simeo. Text me. Oh, well, DM me on Instagram. Listen, don't get fucked up in that okay. teaching. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I love Milana. Craig. Some, yeah. <laughs> I love Craig. You a messy old ho. Craig, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> I'm not messy. I'm just honest. I look for integrity. <laughs> Did you learn that at, ha at Hoppo University? See, there's a difference between being messy and just wanting and seeking the truth. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Milan, when so, you Craig, did you Craig? believe? Don't do that, Milan. Craig, did you believe? No. <laughs> Craig, did you believe what Larry was talking about? I did. No, you didn't. And I was texting Ma Madison during that conversation. Don't do that, y'all. Yeah, you was. But I, but still, <laughs> I did believe that. Because we don't, listen, we got to know. There has to be a uh -uh, room. Well, hold on. I'm not questioning the molestation. I would never question that. That's right. I believe that. I'm talking about that. No, I wasn't, I wasn't questioning him. I wasn't questioning him. haven't had a relationship I was years with a man. This is what I was questioning that y'all was missing. Well, I guess, I think Chi Chi picked up on it. The reason why I, I first initiated and asked the question when was the last time he had his LGBTQ um, experience? And that's why I was trying to find out then for him to say it was when he was 17, but then he said he ain't had sex with the woman upstairs or with nobody since 2016 is where my confusion comes in. That's where all of that's That's where I was questioning all of that. Well, I believe it. Mm -hmm. I ain't never had no, oh, no older man stick no thing in my... So wait, you believe what? That he hasn't been with a man since since he was 17? He was 17? I don't know that. <laughs> I'm talking about the molestation part. No, I believe all of that. the molestation. We, I, I believe, believe all we of both, that. Everybody believes the molestation. Yeah. Do you believe he ain't had sex with a man or no sexual contact with a man since he was 17 years old? I ain't been around him, so I don't know. He And he got children. So. <laughs> I used to fuck a man that had children. Oh, yeah, Craig, me too. And that, yeah, you was fucking that woman. Me too. Was, Craig, you was over there fucking that woman's husband that was over there, that's why she was over there fighting in Iraq. 
Exactly. Book number two, one thing for sure, two things for sure. It's available now at CraigTheWriterStewart.com and Audible. We just want no. honesty. We just want honesty, Maddie. We just want it's a shame to disgrace you was out there fucking that woman club while she was over here fighting for our country. <laughs> man, man, you, you <laughs> but no, I would never question molestation. I want to be clear about that because somebody was saying no, I was not questioning his molestation at all. Man. Everything that I questioned was the part about him not being with a man since he was 17, the part of him not having sex for since 2016. But why does that matter? Because that's his story. It, well, well, that's his story, but I'm just saying, like, because we're talking about truth here. But I mean, does his story, if that's does, a man's does history theory. tell the truth? Does history tell the truth when the, the, the definition of history is the person is his story, not your story, not the truth? But his story. That's so, the man's story. I don't, I don't necessarily believe that he ain't had no sexual contact with a man since he was 17 years old. I just don't believe it. Sorry. Well, he that's his story. And he's sticking, and to, he's it. sticking to it. It ain't my business. Because I ain't had sex with a man. Since yesterday. Right. <laughs> and, and, and again, you know, it, it, it is his story. And I would have never, I would have never challenged, you know what I'm saying? But I'm saying, if you're going to come on here and talk, now, you understand know what I'm saying? It's like if I was to sit here and tell you, oh, no, I never fucked with a married man before. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm not saying that I would just. So, Craig, go, how did you meet this married man? <laughs> such, a such a distinguished gentleman that you are. Where would you find such a low married man <laughs> to come out and, 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 and y'all have sex the way y'all did? I met him on BGC, Black Gay Chat. That was back in um, 2012. Bet you, so, so you're telling me you ain't had sex with a married man since 2012, Craig? That's the truth. I ain't, I ain't buying it either. I ain't buying it. Wait, wait. I have a question for you. I haven't been with a married man since Listen then. Not to, to me, my Craig. knowledge. Hear me clear. <laughs> Are you listening? I'm listening. <laughs> if he was on BGC, it was nothing straight about him. Right. Nothing. I didn't okay. say he was straight. I just said he was a married man. I'm <laughs> <laughs> on that communication is our partner. Clearly is our friend. I never said he was straight. I said he was a married man on BGC. <laughs> Craig, it's a shame and a disgrace that you got to understand that y'all gays is out here taking all our women's men. You get what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So look, let me tell you. Y'all gays, gays over here trying to take our men. These is our men. I, <laughs> I was listening. Y'all putting on them tight, them tight clothes, wearing those muscle shirts, <laughs> going to the gym. Y'all are our <laughs> men. Uh, I was on BGC, <laughs> and my whole profile, like, you know, like the description and stuff, it was like the opening of my first book. And he messaged me and was like, oh, I was sitting here reading this. Is this like a poem or something you've written? And I was like, no, it's the opening of my first book. And he was just like, oh, he said, I've been married for, um, he said, I've been married coming up on a year. And he said, I was in a relationship with a man for 10 years. And he said, I'm starting to feel like I made the wrong choice by getting married to a woman. And so that's how it started. He was living in Dubai. I was here in Atlanta. And we were I, we were on BGC. I, I, he happened to be in a, in the Atlanta I chat. I like so that's how he saw my profile. And so, long story short, from that day forward, we started talking on Skype for four hours every single day. And the way we were able to do it is because there's an eight-hour time difference between you know Atlanta and Dubai. So when I was getting ready to go to bed, he was at work, and so we would talk until I went to bed. And then when my day was starting in the morning. He would be at the end of his day, and we would talk until he went to bed. So we were able to get on the phone or Skype for four hours. Next thing you know, that motherfucker had flew to the United these United States to meet the kid in person. Girl, you took that shape up. <laughs> Tore it up in DC. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's a shame, Craig. That lady should have came in there in DC with a fry pan and on your hair. And whooped your head. Just like Sierra did on Diamond. <laughs> Down mm. in Georgia. Oh my God. But yeah. Mm. <sighs> but Milan, I remember you when I used to live in LA. You better talk. I do. We used to go to the same gym. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me open up Milan because Milan was talking to his bay in the back. Oh, you had muted him. Mm-hmm. You heard Craig Milan. 
Oh, uh, she. He said he used to see me at the gym. You what? What gym, Craig? Um, what they call Twenty Four Hour Fitness? Is that what it's called? Uh, oh, which one? The one right there on um, over there by like uh, by uh, ball, um, what's the shit by the uh, Magic ball Hills on Slauson. Oh, well, I love Slauson Avenue. Yeah, the Slauson one. Yeah, Slauson. Yeah, you know what yeah Slauson. Okay. And then uh, Eric and I came to your house one time for a card. Uh, was it a card party? Mm -hmm. I'm sure you lost. If you played cards against me, I'm sure you lost if you played. No, no I didn't play. I didn't play. Oh, okay. I didn't play. You know, I, and then, I, and then, I then you know what? You had a sneaker party, too, that I came to. Oh, yeah, my birthday party, a sneakers birthday party. Yeah, you had a sneaker party I, I came to with my friend Merrick. So, oh, you talking about Merrick, who I had met? Yes, in Florida. Yes, you yeah, I like Merrick, honey. Yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Craig, you be doing a lot of traveling and stuff. How you make your money? Because I know the books ain't really doing too much of nothing. Yeah, the books ain't really selling. <laughs> I think I sold about three since we've been on this uh quarantine. Oh, you have? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I think I've, I've only sold like three since well, we've been I'm on this. Make, I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna run your commercial at the end of this program. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of you this what? At the end of this program, they help my sister out. Hell, I help I help my lord out with his with his with his with his flesh jacket, but you gotta send me one. <laughs> Craig, you know, I did you did you uh did you send me any of your books? I sent you words never spoken. You ain't gave me the book of jewels. Mm -mm. It's hot outside. So Craig, is your book? Is your books about, um, are they poem books? Or are they, what kind of books are they? What They're are they about? erotic novels. They're erotic novels. The first two are, yeah. Okay. You know, I ain't but read they're my that real life. They're my real I ain't life. read that one. They holding the door open up there to the to the to the basement. <laughs> they keep the door open. They keep the door open. <laughs> and <laughs> if you got the bugs in your house, they're a good bug, a good set of bug smatches. <laughs> <laughs> <You know. laughs> You ah. ain't shit, Maddie. Oh my god, you stupid. <laughs> but I'm gonna be waiting on my toy. Yeah. Maddie, go send me y'all at send me the address. I'm gonna send it over to y'all. And he gonna be waiting for his fuck me sis t-shirt. I got Milan, baby. We'll stay in your lane, Craig, because I think you still never purchased a fuck me sis either. Craig ain't got to buy nothing. Craig, listen, Craig, come over here. You just give the Craig, he ain't got to buy shit. Cause what I downloaded your um your ringtone. No, girl, thank you, Craig. Because one thing about Craig, Craig gonna come and bring his gifts with him. And he's gonna pour into you. These are his gifts. I wanna run. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> it's a match for you. <laughs> 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 Craig, I'm gonna run Craig, I'm gonna tell us a little bit of story before we go. How was it writing for Brandy? Craig, um, listen, Craig is that kind of writer for you for all for y'all that didn't know. Let me uplift my let me uplift my sister room. Craig is that kind of writer. Craig wrote Craig wrote almost doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said, Craig, put your books on Audible. Three of the books are on Audible. Three but of hey, the books are on Audible. Listen, now I ain't gonna lie. Um uh, on my sweet delicate auntie ankles. Now her audible books is the tea. Yeah. Her audible books, her audible books are the tea. She was talking about, oh yes, Craig. Oh, Thank Craig. you, Chi Chi. Yeah. Craig was but no, look, writing for writing Craig for was Brandy, like, yes, and in one more. Writing for Brandy was, was, was amazing. I was trying to like, that was kids. actually the first time that I ever went to LA. Listen, Craig yeah. was like, right when I when I met the man when while his wife was in Dubai fighting in the Iraq War, <laughs> he came <laughs> home and I was tying my shoe. <laughs> After he exited the plane from DC, I picked him up at the airport. <laughs> and when he got in the car, he immediately fell over to my lap and began to give me fellatio. <laughs> <laughs> and as we were riding down in the back of the taxi, the taxi driver looked back and he pulled out his rather large, enormous member. You know. <laughs> 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 ah, oh my god you crazy. Let's talk about brandy craig before we go it was great um working with brandy none of the songs that i wrote for her ended up on an album it was right before she got into that car crash and so you so did write was, almost doesn't count i did not write almost didn't count i wish I, I i wish i did Okay, because you know it's kind of reflective to those two books you got. So I was, you know, kind of running. Did you write that? Almost doesn't count. Let me stop fucking with you, Craig. Craig, you are a good writer. You wrote, you've written a bio for me, 
you know, for uh, when these people were trying to book me, you wrote, you wrote a book. It had so it had a little grammatical errors. You know, you can you. Can, no, I didn't write that. That probably was something that. Oh. Uh-uh, don't you do that? Uh-uh. See, now I'm, I will take you out. I will take you out. I will take you out. Don't you do that? Somebody said by Sada, by Suda. <laughs> Almost made you love me. You was ready to go into it. I was, but I was okay, you, so, so you right not only do so if y'all trying to find. <laughs> If y'all trying to find Craig, no soup, no. If y'all trying to find Craig, right? Craig is not only a talented fellatio artist, he is definitely a great writer, songwriter. He can write you a hit song. He's almost um very much so like Diane Warren. He's the Diane Warren of the <laughs> Come on, Diane Warren. <laughs> He's the Diane Warren of the gays. He almost wrote my hit song, That Girl. <laughs> oh my God, you're so uh, stupid. So, Greg, I ain't gonna see you until 14 days. Huh? They said, I ain't gonna see you in 14 days. They said, Atlanta is on, um, what, 15 day quarantine? 15 day lock lockdown earlier? Bitch, don't tell me what to do. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I was in the house all day yesterday. Like, I did not leave the house once. I was in the house most of the day Sunday. I went to the grocery store. I went to Sprouts. Because, you know, they didn't shut down Amazon Fresh. I was getting all my groceries through Amazon Fresh. Oh, you that bougie. You'll get your groceries delivered. Craig, when we going to do this? That's what I did. You know that's right. Time. It's such a time saver. Craig, oh, yeah. Craig, Kitty's asking you when y'all going to do this bukkake. Oh, you said mukbang? Mukbang. Oh, I thought you said bukkake. Well, when can we get out the house? Girl, it need to be Is soon. Uh -uh. Ain't nothing in there. Uh -uh. No. Milan, when are you coming back down here to Atlanta? I will be back in Atlanta when the uh, um when this shit cleared up. I I was supposed to do Dish Nation last week and a week and the week before that, but I couldn't come because they had everything shut down. Right. Yeah, yeah they've but shut, they shut the majority of everything down for us too. So you know, it's crazy. Yeah. Um, so uh, once this, again, once make sure cleared, you drop. I definitely will. You know, after we did our 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 um our 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 thing for, for uh Queen Supreme Court, a lot of your fans was asking about the um. I guess you got another show that you normally do. Yeah, the, do. the uh the crack in the cold, crack in the cold cases. cases. You had to get out of here. You was in the rush, so you had to go. Well, he yeah, had so a group gotta, of, got, he had a group of men with him. <laughs> So I got to come and do the cracking cold case. Yes, and I do. need you to do a key session with me, too, on my thing, too. Listen, they were all sexy okay. fine men. Where do you... Listen, as a, as a, as a woman who looks at gay men, <laughs> <laughs> fine, beautiful, handsome gay men, where do you all meet? Is there a special place that gay men meet that I can... That can come and watch what, how y'all meet each other? Did you? <laughs> yeah, go, just, go, just go to church. Go to church. Go to church and the gym. Oh, she got the jack app on her phone. <laughs> Wait a minute, Craig. Don't you be giving away my secrets. I'll delete you. <laughs> that, picture, that picture with that brush cut and that fitted cap, that's me. <laughs> Madison, the only thing you need to add to your phone is uh, Tinder because they over there on Tinder too. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of our morning show, honey. We've had breakfast with y'all. We done talked a lot of stuff. We learned. Craig, uh, Maurice Williams wants to know, are you single? I am single. And ready to mingle. Uh-oh. What you looking at me for? <laughs> Why are you looking at Chi-Chi? Is Chi-Chi and Craig fucking? No, Chichu and Chichi and I know other things, but I, I maybe maybe you Craig, maybe you and I need to have that conversation offline. I am single. Oh. You're not in an LTR. No, I'm not. Okay. I haven't been in a relationship in several years. What's I've several? dated. I've dated. But what's several years, Craig? So, Craig, do you like men that are 43 and under or 43 and over? They can be any any age, not not any age, not, right, younger than right. 30, not younger than thirty. But I just want them to be of sound mind. I want them to have emotional intelligence, emotional maturity. Louisa, like asks, what is the LTR? A LTR is a long, long, long term relationship. 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 Yeah. Uh, oh no, that's an LDR. Ain't that what What's, you said? 
No, I said LTR. That's a long term relationship. Long, a, a long term. And an LDR is a long dick relationship. I mean, long distance relationship. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Wait a minute. Hold on. Someone's asking a question from Milan. Oh no, no, no. Let no, 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 no. Let me play with it, bro. Don't, don't, don't encourage Milan. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Seabus, no, it's not T.S. Madison Hinton. It's just Madison Hinton. Madison Hinton. Oh, wait. Jinx Hoka said, Craig, you mine. All mine. Booty and all. Craig is oh. a top. Craig is a top. Shut up, Madison. Craig is a top. <laughs> well, you is stupid, dog. Craig is a top. <laughs> Milan, tell him your link. Uh, I keep giving it. I keep giving it to Maddie. It's www.fleshjack.com forward slash Milan. <laughs> Nafi Smith said, the way Craig was looking at Kid Fury booty, baby. You know, you know, Dustin said something to me about that when he came and did the show. Dustin is so handsome to me. Hi, Dustin. Hi, Dustin. I love you, Dustin. <laughs> Dustin is Who's very Kid handsome. Fury? And, you know, I'm liking this. I'm liking to, I'm used to seeing this kind of gay all the time. But what's Kid Fury? Kid Fury from the read with that big oh, old booty. Craig, Craig, that's the booty you was looking at, baby. That booty mesmerizing. Kid, I see. Yeah. What, what Craig, he's not a bird watcher. He's a cake watcher. I used to look at your oh, booty too in the gym. Said, I'm line. woman, all woman. Wait a minute. You used to do what, Craig? Wait a I saw you look at your booty too in the gym. Malone, hold on, hold on. LA. Malone, hold on. Cause you, see, you I be in the gym with jogging pants or without no underwear. Mala, hold on. I know what it's like for you to have women all over you because you're so so mask so masculinely built. See, Craig is almost there. So, Craig. So, you see, don't do Craig like that. A woman, all woman, say that she wants some of Craig. Craig, you are really Craig. I will say that you are a very handsome man. And even in our first experience, you know, when we was going to have that boy together. <laughs> oh, you don't want to tell that story? Okay, that's another morning we, show. We can tell a story. No, we it's another morning story. show. So, so no, no, uh, we want to tell a story. You want to tell your version of the story. You want your version of it? No, I'm asking I'm asking the people, do y'all want to hear my version of the story? Oh, there, there's version there's story? only Because my version, version of the story is giving the truth. Mass is going to add yeast to her story. There's only one version, Craig. Now, you already know what was going to go down on the compound, Craig. The, I told the story. The boy was bothering me and you on Jack, both of us. So, and first of all, let me, let me put a few things in here. So, when I first met Madison. What's Jack? What's you know what Jack deals is where you can get that website, <laughs> fleshjack.com. So back when I first met Madison, I reached out to her to do a podcast, to have her on my podcast as a guest. So she came over, and at the time, I was still on Jack. I was promoting my first book, Words Never Spoken. <laughs> so yes. Madison came over, we did the podcast, and there was a guy that was messaging me that was also mess messaging Madison. And she was like, oh my God, this girl just be terrorizing me. And I said, oh, he terrorizes me too. So we both had messages from the same boy where, you know, either we weren't responding to him or whatever, because he just, he was relentless. So when he fi figured out that Madison was here in my house, that we were at the same place, he was ping ponging from my inbox to her inbox and was trying to come over here to fuck around. So Madison, she messaging him, talking about, come on, you want to suck both of our dick? I did say that. Yes, yes, I did. <laughs> and she Craig, was like, somebody, Come on. Craig, Kaya Sade said Craig is a top is an allegation. Is that an allegation or is that true? That's true. But well, no, 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 no. Let me say this: in a relationship, you can get whatever you want from me. So you versatile. In a relationship. In a relationship. That's another morning show. <laughs> that is another morning show. <laughs> out here in these sing out here in these single streets. You're not getting up in here. Oh, okay. And when you say getting up in here, Craig, what are they actually trying to get up in? Sliding your dick in all of this future that I have behind me. <laughs> and that's and speaking of the future, that's why he got all the motherfucking children because somebody done slid in his future, bitch. So, Craig, Woo! please, I'd like this, I'd like for you to finish it before we close out. We so, so, so Madison was like, 
um, you, you want me to tell him to come over here? What's your address? What's your address? And I was like, bitch, I'm not fucking with that boy. And that was it. Quick. Okay, so that's your version. So what did I leave out? So then, we, so when we were sitting there looking at each other, like, girl, what's the tea? You was like, girl, girl, message him back, and I message him back, and, and I message him, and I said, girl, he said he never been with no trance before, but he want to be with a trance and a gay man. I and I said, that. well, girl, listen, I'm gonna sit next to you on the sofa. He gonna suck your dick and suck mine, and we gonna rub our dicks together in his mouth. And you bust out laughing, but you didn't say no. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 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 Look, she said you bust out like but you didn't say no. You didn't say no. <laughs> you know, and bitch, when we were in that room, which is another story, when we was in that room in, in motherfucking Texas and I bust in the room and you naked, and I was like, Craig, what you doing here, bitch? Hence the reason why you don't want to sleep with me anymore in the, in the Airbnb, because I bust in the room while you was in there watching Golden Girls, honey. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I said, Craig, what you here doing? You was like, girl, watching the Golden I said, Craig, let me suck your dick. And you thought for a second, he was like, well, girl, I really ain't doing nothing. I slapped the door on you, girl. <laughs> you so stupid. Oh I my slammed God. the door. I said, girl, you all bull dyking ass, bitch. You, you are so stupid. No, but this is, <laughs> like, okay, this is the fun that we have. Like, we're, we're watch that thing because it will go out. Oh, we have fun. I, I I mean I don't really take a lot of stuff serious like that's it's really not that's like shit ain't really that serious for me except for things like stories like molestation mm -hmm. abuse and, like that stuff is serious for me but things like joking around like Craig you know you know bitch if 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 we was in a quarantine in the house girl and, 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 and it was the last nut the bus we would bust it you know this already girl <laughs> <You know? laughs> <laughs> but we just joke and we have fun. <laughs> you know, it's just fun. And I, and I really like to have lots and lots of fun. I, I feel like that life is the, is, the, is the longest, shortest thing that you can do. Mm -hmm. And while you're doing it, you should have lots of fun doing it. And I and and mm -hmm. I I do I want to say I do appreciate. It. I'm glad. Um I'm glad that we're friends. And you know, Malone, you know I love you, bitch. You know, anytime I call you to do so, you come. You know, I love you, bitch. You know. Bitch, yeah. you already you know. You know, I call you, <laughs> call me. I'm on the way. You feel me? And it, it is what it is. And I've always supported you in, in all the things that you, you that you've done in your career because I know how it is out here. You know, mm -hmm. this to build your name off of what it is. And even though I be fucking off with Craig, Craig, we're all under the same umbrella. And I just feel like as we're all under the same umbrella, that we should support each other if we fuck with each other. Now, right. see, I don't want to get I don't want nobody to get it twisted because somebody will come in the comments and say, Well, master, you don't fuck with this one, you don't fuck with that. Just because you gay or trans, that don't mean I got to fuck with you. Exactly. <laughs> but if I fuck with you, I fuck with you the long way. Period. Mm -hmm. Message. Messy <laughs> All right, right. ladies and gentlemen, we've had a good show. I love you guys so much. We'll, we'll probably, if if I feel like it, we'll, I'll come back tomorrow. Milan, I love you, bitch. So I'll call you later on the day. Too. So you can send me that goddamn thing because I need, I want the ass. Right, give, me me give me both of them. Don't leave one, don't leave Ann out. <laughs> give me both of them, honey. Let me have the whole thing. All right. Yeah, do All right. See y'all later. You get back down here, honey. We won't tell nobody but God because it'll kill your mama. <laughs> 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 I love you. And make sure y'all go over there and, and get uh, Milan's flesh jack. Well, let me put it in the, in the thing before I leave. You know, w, w, hold on. Shit. www.fleshjack.com. Dot com. Slash you know, I'll be doing a review over it when it do, when I do get it. I'll be doing a review, a hands on review. I, but what I will need to know, Milan, before I do the review, I'll have to have the real thing versus the um versus the <laughs> so that you know once it all transpires, you know we do do the thing, and then I do the thing with the thing. Well, it feels like the real real thing, <laughs> you know. Make sure you following Craig on his stuff, Craig the Writer Stewart, Milan. Y'all know where to find Milan on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Milan Christopher. Y'all know to follow T.S. Madison. And, you know, keep your things together for the morning show. We go to the morning show. The morning show was good. We love the morning show. Okay. Subscribe to I Chief. I loved it. 
at Infamous Chi Chi um, on oh, YouTube. YouTube. And you're just all around supporting. You know, we're the, we're here for the laughs and the keys while the quarantine is going on. I love you guys very much. That's right, Alpha Charm, my Patreon. Join my Patreon, honey, because I do. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God, that made me feel good. Thank you. Um, Join my Patreon for the behind the scenes and all my other stuff that we got going on or whatever. I, I almost had it. Here it is. And I love you. And I'll see you guys this week. Craig, all right, all right, baby, I love you. All right, see y'all later. Have live show tonight. Me? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be live tonight at nine. All right. All right. All right. All right, all right bye -bye. Okay, bye, y'all. All right, Craig gone, everybody gone. It ain't no, it's just me and you. Just me and you. Guys, I want to tell you, thank you so much for allowing me to come into your mornings and your evenings. And your nights. I love you, Jamal. I'll call you. And your nights. Having a good time with you guys. I love you guys very, 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 very much. And I do love you for just letting me be me. Having a good time with y'all. Laughing and talking in the morning. You know, putting on my crazy ass wigs. I hope you guys enjoyed the show last night. This is a new program that we playing around with. I don't understand it fully. But I don't understand it fully. But we just getting the hang of it and stuff like that or whatever. So y'all just bear with us. But I just think it's fun. Tomorrow, if we come on tomorrow, I'm going to open up the lines to the public. And we just going to get into some things. We're going to cut up. We're going to key. We're going to have a good time. Hell, we may still even be discussing Booster tomorrow. Who's to say? Uh, and you, we'll talk about me being if if I'm single or not. We'll 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 talk about it. I love you guys, and for my patreons, I'll see you tonight. I'm gonna come. I didn't get a chance to do the after show with y'all. I, I was very tired last night, but I love you guys very much, and I'll see you later on. I love you, love you. Thank you all for the look for the money that you gave me, big and small. I appreciate it all. This stuff helps me keep the show going and stuff like that. I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. I love you long time and thank y'all again. And I'll see you guys later on. Mm -hmm. Maddie in the morning. We are signing out.